is your 30 second warning. Sit down, tune in, turn on, please feel free. Chat in, let us know that you hear us all right, that you see us all right. Well, you're gonna see us in just a second, but you see, see Ultima alert on your screen. Uh, again, uh, chat in where you're joining us from today. I'm watching the chat here in real time. There's a question and answer webinar chat. It's all good over here. Looks uh, looks good. Sounds good. All right. So uh, you should you should see me now. I'm in woolly mammoth gear. It's uh, it's cold here. Cold. How cold is it? Uh, I'm actually looking at my watch. It's not that cold here. It's only like 68 degrees. <laughs> 68 degrees. It's it's very chilly. Um, I gotta, I gotta get out of here, man. It's, this is the coldest weather I've been in since, uh, I don't know, like last winter. Uh, so, uh, we'll get into that here in just a moment. There's a lot of people still joining right now. So we'll give them just a moment to join, by the way, a, uh, a few informal details here. Uh, yes, you can ask questions. Yes, this is live. <laughs> Those are the informal details. Uh, everybody always asks me that question. Is, is this really live? or you're just like replaying something, oh, it's live. In fact, um, I like to do this live. Uh, markets open, a little price action in here. You know, it's a holiday week, but uh, there's still quite a bit of price action specific to the uh, to the NASDAQ, which is uh, getting whacked back a little bit after yesterday's stellar rally. What am I saying? After uh, the last three weeks has been straight up. Nevertheless, we'll, uh, we'll discuss that to some extent uh, here today. So uh, fantastic. Everybody can hear me well, can see me. By the way, if you have questions, again, if you have questions throughout the course of the presentation, ask them. I'm reading this in, uh, in real time. It's, it's why we do this while the market's open. It's why we do this you know, live and not on a recording. So uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, it's good to see. We actually have a very good number of people here uh, for this holiday week. Uh, hopefully, you know, some of you are taking it a little bit easy. Okay, going into, uh, again, tapering your eating off before uh, the Thursday extravaganza of, uh, of food. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's get started here. So welcome. So cool. Um, wow, we've got people joining us from pretty much all over the world. I see uh, uh, Oklahoma, Ohio, a couple of California, Utah, South Carolina, India. Uh, by the way, I am broadcasting right now from um, from Paradise Valley in Arizona, uh, Hawaii. Cool. So I live now most of the year, though, not here uh, in Arizona. I did live here in Arizona on and off for uh, a very long time, but I am uh, presently a resident of the U.S. Virgin Islands, uh, specifically uh, I'm in St. Croix. I'm actually going back there in just over a week back on the island for uh, for a couple of months. So uh, I'm enjoying the cool weather here of 70 degrees of Arizona right now. All right. So welcome, everybody. This is Ultima Alert, High Probability Income Generator. Again, my name is Don Kaufman, and you are watching the Theo Trade presentation. We always throw a risk disclosure up here to begin with, and that's predominantly because uh, many of us here at Theo Trade, we did actually come from the brokerage side of the business. We are no longer broker dealers. We are no longer financial advisors. So I just throw that out there because many of you, if you've been in this business, if you've been in this business for more than a few years, uh, you would know that I spent uh, about 15 years uh, running part of Thinkorswim and uh, then TD Ameritrade, which we'll discuss here in a moment. A few housekeeping items. Get through this quick. Look, you got one of these. Okay, that, yeah, turn it off, get rid of it, it'll help you. <laughs> Unless of course you're watching this on your mobile device, in which case pay very careful attention. Um, turn off Skype chat, whatever else is distracting you. Look, I'm gonna go through a huge amount of material. Uh, this is a presentation I've continuously added to, substantially added to in recent, uh, in recent times, but close Facebook, phones on silent mode, definitely kick out the kids. I always say, keep the dog, keep the dog. You took the time to be here. This is important. Uh, focus on being here. Uh, the trades we're going to discuss, as I said, are very, very in depth here because I'm going to show you how to generate uh, returns like IWM, 62% and QQQ, 49% and spiders, 50%. I'm not just going to throw numbers up here. One thing I want everybody to understand right off the bat, I throw returns up here. Woo. Okay. Everything that we do here at Theo Trade, everything we do, I take a very no holds barred approach. And I think that that's incredibly important. I know that constantly webinars are held, and I know that constantly people talk 
you know, and, and show PowerPoints, you know, with, with returns on them. Okay. Everything I do here, everything I do here, you will see accounts, you will see balances, you will see every detail. When I say no holds barred, are we doing okay today? Sure. We're up 9,000. I say we, okay. This one is my specific account. This is one okay, of several accounts that I have. Uh, I am managing right now, if you're kind of curious in this one account, as I said, I show every detail, okay? I'm managing approximately 1.3 million in this particular account. We have a few million more managed in other uh, various accounts, everything. And again, I want to reiterate, everything that I do, okay, is no holds barred approach, where I show you every detail of every trade, why we enter it, every balance over here. And I like to start with that, to kind of wipe the slate clean. Because again, I think a lot of people talk about markets. I'm not sure they actually execute into them. And uh, I've been around this business my entire life, which I'm going to talk about here also momentarily. Now, this is our gift to you. This is an auto expected move indicator. Look, I have a screenshot of it. I don't want to use a screenshot this indicator that we're giving you, and you have to stay with me right until the end of the webcast, we will hand you a copy of the auto expected move indicator. It's an indicator that's literally changed the way we view markets. It is not okay, a run of the mill indicator with like MACDs or Fibonacci's and Bollinger Bands. Okay, It takes option pricing and plots forward risk for a given week. And uh, to explain it, let's go right over here to a trading application. Let's go to something like Apple. Let's go auto expected moves. What you're actually looking at right now is, uh, is Apple in accordance to its auto expected move. This is how the option marketplace is handicapping forward risk. By the way, somebody was asking, will it work with this platform, that platform? You know, the great thing right now, all you have to do is take the code and uh, put it into chat GPT and just tell it, okay, is chat GPT, is chat GPT still working? <laughs> Um, just put it into chat GPT and you can actually take the code and convert it for different platforms. It's kind of cool. Uh, but you can look at any major underlying in here, any major underlying, like look how it's adhering to the expected moves, both higher and lower. I mean, yes, we have our breaches, but this is exactly what you learn about the expected move indicator. It is a phenomenal, phenomenal tool. And I'm telling you, uh, I don't trade without it. Do not trade without it. Stay with me right until the end of the webcast. It's a $500 value. It's yours free. Okay. All right. Onward. The auto expected move indicator. One of the reasons I incessantly mention it is because we use it. And we use it to help me find trades like spiders, a 60% return. Spiders, a 50% return. QQQ, a 64% return. QQQ, 52% return. You'll notice there's more winning trades. You'll notice that I personally, I grew up as an index kind of trader. I grew up as an index trader. So QQQ and TLT and spiders, TLT are bonds, but uh, like marquee ETFs, they do it for me. QQQ 50%, QQQ 51%, TLT 53%, spiders 50%, okay? All of which, again, all of which are uh, trades that I will show you specifically. Look, this is why you specifically are here today. You are going to discover a little bit about Ultima trades. Now, Ultima trades, Okay, are absolutely ideal for the current market environment. So you can potentially generate monthly income. We're going to talk extensively about, of course, generation of monthly income. And that is, we're going to look at things on you know, 30-day horizons here. You're going to learn a trading symbol that professionals use on a daily basis to create ultimate trades. That's something I'm going to mention almost immediately here. Uh, number three, you're going to learn how and where you can find edge as a retail trader. Look, people... If there's one thing I'm very adamant about, bullet number three here, edge. What does it mean to you? Okay, we're not talking about like being right or wrong direction. We're not talking about like do the MACD and the Fibonacci and the Bollinger Band line up. It's not about right or wrong. It's about finding mathematical edge, certainty that if you did the trade again and again and again and again, that could produce positive expected returns. Okay, that's the kind of thing that you have to embody in any strategy that you're going to do. Reap the benefits of high probability trades while learning secrets not to take large losses. And of course, the final part here is we're going to find products that work and find products that don't work. You're going to hear me use this term a lot, product. Most people don't know what a product is. Stocks, options, futures. Look, people, I don't care what you trade. 
But if you tell me like, oh, like a moth to a flame, I really love Tesla. Tesla, okay, can be extraordinarily high risk. The bottom line of this business, who cares what you trade as long as you're doing what? Making money and not exposing yourself to a lot of risk. Sound reasonable? Make money, don't expose yourself to a tremendous amount of risk. To me, that people is the uh, is the name of the game. And that's exactly what we're going to focus on is making money and having limited exposure to that risk. Look, this is what you do not need. Okay. A couple of things, because I get these questions throughout and it always kind of hinders us a little bit as we move forward. So listen up. If you're brand new here, a complete novice, listen up. If you're experienced here, okay, listen carefully. First of all, you do not need a large trading account. Everything I'm going to display, and I mean every detail I'm going to display, you can do this in a small account. In fact, I even have a $5,000 account right here, ready and willing. I have a $5,000 account that I will show you exactly what you can do. All right now, I put like you can even do this with a two thousand dollar account. You can, but I have five thousand dollar account, and I'm actually going to show you how much you can do with it. Uh, you're not going to have to have a lot of time. I'm going to show you how we send these trades directly to any of your mobile device. That's actually what we call this Ultima Alert trading experience. Okay, we can have you up and running. Okay, from zero, running into your first trade in a matter of a couple of hours. And you know this this last one. This one's critical. By the way, I'm pointing over here because I got monitors all around me. Okay, margin. Margin is an area that people are going to fight me constantly. You do not need a lot of margin. Technical knowledge whatsoever. By the way, when I'm talking about technical knowledge, I'm not talking about technical analysis. Look, I'm just saying like you need a phone. Eh, kinda. You could use your computer. You can use any iPad or you know any type of mobile device. Okay, uh, you're not going to need to be isolated. We have a really supportive community. We have literally hundreds and hundreds of traders, um, you know, day to day in the in the chat room. In fact, in any given day right now, we have over two thousand, literally over two thousand different individuals log into TheoTrade and actually chat in our uh, chat room on a day to day basis. There's no hidden fees here, or high commissions. The cost of trading has become extremely small, and uh, you're not going to have to take inordinate amounts of risk. As I said, you could do this with as little as $2,000 nominal margin, we are extraordinarily risk averse. I mean, and a lot of people are not familiar with that, just hate risk, all right? We're gonna show you how to minimize that risk along the way. Now, here's a little bit about me. I'm just gonna give you, just based on time, I wanna give you like the dime tour on me. You ready? I watched order flow for 15 years. And uh, you know that's actually a phrase that a lot of you may not be familiar with, right? What is order flow? It's your trades. Okay. Look, the bottom line is when I say I watched order flow for 15 years, I personally have a very unique skill set. And I'll give you a little background on me. So a lot of people, they come in and they talk about options or they teach options and they go, you know, I was a school teacher and then I learned to trade options. I was a taxi cab driver and then I learned to trade options. Me, I grew up around option traders. I grew up around markets, traders, um, I had family that traded in uh, Chicago and about three weeks out of college, uh, I went to Chicago and joined them. I've uh, been trading really ever since. So that was the ripe old age of 22. I'm in my late forties now. Um, I started trading in the, uh, the late nineties. I literally got out of school in 98. Right after that, I went down to, uh, to Chicago, uh, only a few weeks after I started trading was the fall of long-term capital management. Some people remember that in 1998. Okay. I loved it. It was volatile. It was crazy. So I stayed, I stayed. And uh, shortly thereafter, I went to work for a startup that no one had heard of at the time. That startup was called Thinkorswim. I actually uh, built the education division of, uh, of Thinkorswim. And for those of you that know anything about Thinkorswim, this went on to be one of the most prolific trading applications. And I mean, really in the history of markets, uh, it still is the most prolific trading application pretty much uh, out there. There's nothing uh, on scale of, of Thinkorswim. Um, our group was largely responsible for analytics and charts. And I say my group, that group now works with us here at Theotrade. It's uh, a lot of us got our beginnings 
both uh, in Chicago and of course uh, at Thinkorswim. So I went on actually to uh, to run education for Thinkorswim. Uh, I was on the executive team when we took the company public in 2007. Uh, I was there when TD Ameritrade acquired us in 2009. Uh, for those of you that don't know this, it was about a $700 million deal. Um, I went on then to sign a five-year lockup clause with uh, TD Ameritrade. I actually ran education for TD Ameritrade for the better part of about five years and their 7 million clientele. And the entire time in that 15 year career, uh, I got to see everything that you did. And a huge amount of what we discuss here at Theotrade comes from having watched order flow of clientele. What I mean by that, and I love to mention this, what I mean by that is simply put, okay, uh, I got to see everything you did, but I know what strategies work, what strategies don't. If you say I've done iron condors, you're going to hear me beat that up because statistically speaking, people get crushed in the trade. You know, if you say like, oh, I did this trade or that trade, people, the buck stops here. Like there's nothing that I haven't seen in this business. I have watched literally billions of other people's mistakes and have the knowledge of what works best expressly for retail traders. Like I don't go back and talk about like my market making days. Who cares? Who cares? This is about retail traders, about what works best for you. If you ever need to get a hold of me after today, okay, we answer emails here. We are Johnny on the spot with those emails. Support theotrade.com. Just put Don Kaufman in the subject, it goes directly to me, right? So I'm more than happy to answer your emails. Uh, by the way, this is not here at Theotrade. We're not like a one trick pony. It's not just me. We have seven other full time instructors, many of which like Brandon Chapman and Blake Young. Corey Rosenblum, Tony Rago, Jeff Bierman. Jeff Bierman actually built the charting package specifically for Thinkorswim. Uh, all of them are actually on our uh, on our crew here at uh, at Theotrade. That's actually the last time that I was in Chicago, 2019. I do uh, weekly uh, sessions specifically on uh, TD Ameritrade TV, which is now Charles Schwab TV. I will do the occasional uh, appearance on CNBC. Uh, that's myself, of course, pitted against Kevin O'Leary. On uh, you know, I was the short seller in uh, in Apple, and we were killing it. This is this is actually a couple of years ago. Uh, this is also a cover of Investors Business Daily. This is actually a big deal, the cover of Investors Business Daily, because this is exactly uh, a year ago. This was December tenth, two thousand twenty-two, and I just I say it's a it's a big deal. It's a big deal for me because um, it uh, kind of named us Trader of the Year because uh, we did extraordinarily well in 2022 and something I'll discuss here momentarily. In fact, uh, my, my favorite quote over here, this has actually been the best year I've had since the financial crisis of 2008. Look, embody that, like sample of uh, trades from 2022 that Investors Business Daily uh, used to name us trader of the year. And that's bonds, 54%, S&Ps, 53%, S&Ps, 55%, bonds, 64%, S&Ps, 51%. And I'm gonna show you these exact trades uh, in just a moment, let's dive into this. By the way, if you're curious, the 2022 Ultima portfolio returns, this was on a $50,000 account, was 56.6%. That's $28,314.75. So uh, that was the 2022 returns. That's what I was referencing here in the Investor's Business Daily. I'll talk a little bit about this portfolio. Let's get down to business. Market chaos. I don't like to call volatility volatility. I like to call it chaos. Why? Because volatility, okay, you know, too many people look at something called VIX. How many people here look at VIX? Hmm? Seriously, just by a show of hands. And you, by the way, I say show of hands, you can put Y for yes, N for no. Just go into the chat room there, the webinar chat. Go into VIX and people constantly talk about VIX. VIX, 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 VIX. Okay, come on, people, admitting it's the first step. I am not moving on until we get some answers in here. So, um, for those of you that do look at VIX, okay, it's interesting. Uh, you know, this is this is a group where there's a couple of people that are saying no. VIX is uh, to me, it's a dead product because what I want to show you is that VIX, which is volatility, has collapsed. Volatility has collapsed. Would you would you say that though that volatility has really collapsed in this marketplace? Okay, because look at how wild the movement has been. You need another word for it these days. This market, okay, this market people are ah, the market never changes. That's really not true, okay? The market always, always is continuously changing with products coming in favor and out of favor, okay? A lot of, a lot of chaos in this marketplace. Is inflation cooling? 
Fed pushing rates higher and contracting the balance sheet, strong dollar. Even though the dollar is actually fallen, it's still incredibly strong. Geopolitical risks continue to uh, proliferate. All of this amounts to one thing. Game on! Look, markets got real in 2022. One of the things you have to recognize, why did markets get real in 2022? Survey says the Fed. It's the first time they've actually pushed interest rates above zero basically since the financial crisis. And everybody's like, I can't take it. Okay, I can't possibly take it. Look, stock picking at Reddit boards is not going to cut it. This year is really weird. I mean, this is one of the strangest years that I've ever seen. Why? Okay, what's performing this year? I just want to show you guys something because when I say that this this year is weird, look at IWM. IWM is the Russell. For those of you that don't know, here's year to date. It's up two percent. Yes, two percent returns on the Russell. What's the financials doing? The financials, yeah, they're up 2.4%. What's energy doing this year? Oh, it's up 0.3%. What's healthcare doing? Look at XLV. What's healthcare? Ooh, it's down 4%. What else you got? What else you got? Basically, you have tech and that's it. There's seven stocks running the roost of the entire marketplace. But the spiders, the S&Ps are up 19% on a year-to-date basis. 19%, all predicated on what? seven stocks. Okay. They account for not some of the return. They're all the return now. They're all the return. And that's something people have to wake up to. And of course, somebody's always going to be like, what about Boeing, man? It's up like 11%. I I agree. Okay. What about Caterpillar? It's up 4%. I agree. What about Walmart? Oh, I did agree until the fact that it fell flat on its face. And what's crazy about this market, when you start looking at stuff like Walmart and Walmart takes that amount of a hit and people don't pay attention, Now you got issues, you got big issues. So I say, embrace the chaos. You're not gonna be here to stock pick. We're not here to stock pick. We need a strategy that's gonna embrace this chaos, embrace some of the volatility. Does not rely on directional bias. Did you hear me? You need a strategy that does not rely on directional bias. Okay, look, okay, you gotta reduce risk while substantiating monthly returns. And it's, it's so critical that we understand those three concepts, embrace the chaos, embrace volatility. You can't rely on directional bias. I say you can't rely on directional bias. Why? Right? Just listen to me for one second, please. Okay. If you rely on directional bias and NVIDIA, which is coming out with earnings after the bell, doesn't do well or does do well, you're done. It's not going to make a difference what you think about Microsoft. It's not going to make a difference what you think about Google or what you think about the financials or Goldman Sachs. Nothing matters but seven stocks. And one of those seven has earnings tonight. Okay, You can't rely on directional bias. There's just too much risk in that. Can you imagine if NVIDIA misses today? Ooh, I don't care who you are. That has got to hurt. It's going to get crazy. What are ultimate trades? Look, What we're going to do with Ultima is we're going to circumnavigate all of that. And we're going to zero in on higher risk, okay, higher amounts of chaos and skew. And that has helped, okay, options premium substantially. Now, for those of you that do not know about options, okay, time out. We're going to talk about options. I said the O word. Some people hear the word options and they're like, "Ah, I'm out of the contest. (laughs) Calm down because what you will find is that this environment, and again, I'm actually going to envelop the environment that we're presently in, okay, of why ultimate trades are so good. And we are going to be selling options premium while reducing risk. And I'm going to tell you right now, this is not what you think it is. This is not like covered calls. This is not selling, you know, short duration. Okay. It's it's none of that. And that's what's so important. Okay. Now, selling options. I'm going to jump right over here. Okay. How many of you people have heard? that selling options is a great way to make money. Okay, how many people have actually heard that? Yes, why for yes and for no? Because people always hear that around kind of the campfire, you know? It's, it's something that goes through the grapevine. Yeah, selling options is a great way to make money. But then, but then what happens to you is that some of you experiment with it, which many of you have done, okay? I like this group, man. This group is actually talking to me, all right? This is, uh, by the way, the more interaction over here, I, I enjoy. I like doing these things live. I've been doing, you know, uh, education for a long time. And there was about a three-month period between like TD Ameritrade and us really kind of kicking off like video trade. And uh, 
where I wasn't in front of a group or anything. I still talk to my computers, by the way, if you're not here, <laughs> just so you know, it was my wife was like, you know, you should put a microphone in front of you because you talk to the computer and people might actually want to hear what you say. <laughs> uh, that was that was it, people. That's how we started Theo Trade. But you know, if you've experimented with selling options, okay, and right now is a really good time to do that. But if you've experimented with it, what happens to people, okay, what it, what happens to people that sell options that they don't understand is they make money, they make money, they make money, make money, make money. Oh, they get hit by a Mack truck and they're like, oh, what happened to me? The pain, the agony. We're actually going to separate myth from real risk, fact from fiction. We're just going to cut through all the garbage out there. I'm going to tell you what works exclusively around selling options. Okay. And moreover, you know what? Talk, and I, I say this a lot, talk is cheap, all right? You got to look at accounts. You got to look at somebody that says like, look, that is an options inventory. If this scares you, don't let it. You're like, look, I got one lot, one lot, five lot, five lot, three lot, one lot, one lot, five lot. Okay. This is what we call inventory. What's inventory? Don't worry. I'm going to explain. I'm going to explain exactly what this is. But as I always say, talk is cheap. Like if somebody's not willing to open up their positions, okay, and positions I have got, but if you're not willing to open up your positions and explore this and trade a little bit, you got nothing. And that's, that's critically important. I don't mind showing you long, short, or otherwise what my positions are at any given point in time, because, hey, for good, for bad, whatever, okay, we will not only discuss trading today, we'll also discuss sending you out trade alerts. Every time that I execute into a portfolio, you can see it. And that's why I say it's a very no holds barred approach. And uh, I'm adamant about that because, again, uh, as I said, talk is is cheap in there. So let's uh, let's jump into it. Don't panic. You can do this. Some of you know nothing about options, and that's okay for today's session. I'm going to say that again. Some of you, you know nothing. Fine. If you know nothing, look to grasp big concepts regarding probability and risk. Then time out. Some of you in here are very familiar with options. In which case, okay. You want to grab the little nuances. I try to gear this presentation okay, to both extremes, absolute novice to the absolute extreme. And you're like, well, how do you do that? You're going to see here momentarily. We're going to start in some of the basics, okay? but our basics jump forward because this is much more okay, like logical. And then we're actually going to take it into the real trading arena. And I'll actually show you some live, uh, live trades. Uh, one last comment on here. Again, I, I, I did make this comment already, but everybody fights me on this and go, look, selling premium can now be done in small accounts under 5K. You can even sell premium in retirement accounts, all right, with very, very, very minimal margin. And I keep bringing that up because people are like, I can't do that at my brokerage firm. Okay, that's because you are not asking the right questions. Look, Selling premium. You've heard me use this terminology, selling premium. Selling premium means selling options. But selling options can be referred to in a number of different ways. So I know, again, when people come here to Theotrade, they've heard all kinds of crazy stuff. They've heard about selling premium. They've heard about credit spreads. You're like, yeah, credit spreads are the way to go. Credit spreads are the same thing as iron condors. You know, you sell here, you sell here, you do a little dance, make a little love, you get down tonight. There's bull call spreads and bear call spreads and bull put spreads and bear put spreads. There's short call spreads, short put spreads. There's delta neutral trading, okay? There's gamma trading and gamma scalping. There's selling naked, okay? There's mambo combos, the conversions or reversals and boxes and jelly rolls. I can go on for a half an hour. You know, the crazy thing about, you know, options, people make this business way more difficult than it needs to be. Something that the exact thing that they showed me when I first got involved in this business, I totally appreciate. They go, kid, look, you got calls and you got puts. And I go, okay, I got calls, I got puts. Yeah, you can buy them or you can sell them. That is it. <laughs> We're going to choose to be a seller of these. You got to forget about all the garbage. You know, you got to take this back to the, oh, it's an, it's an iron condor with a side order of cheese. I want a double, double animal protein style. All of a sudden now I'm ordering a burger and no longer trading options. You can't even tell the difference. It's ridiculous. In this business, there are calls and there are puts. You can buy it and sell it, right? So I can buy stuff and I can sell stuff. And that's exactly what we're going to do. <laughs> so I don't like to overcomplicate 
the issue, right? And most of the stuff we're going to do today, it's not bullish or bearish. It's going to be market neutral. Now, how our members are doing? Theo trade, unique season trading, insights and analysis. Okay. Okay. Theo trade, a place with a comprehensive set of resources to study and exceptional instructors, beginning with Don Kaufman. I have a PhD in quantitative economics. I've learned more about the markets and the economy from listening to Don. Okay. When the Fed spoke, and for many of my graduate studies, all of the instructors offer unique season trading and analysis and insights. Okay. And the chat with other members is exceptional. Lots of shared wisdom in there. Okay. Multiple years of Theo trade. One more, and we're going to jump right into it here. Been a member of Theo, I think, for about five years, where I had to unlearn what I had learned in order to learn from real traders. Okay. I have plenty of reasons to recommend Theo as a great opportunity to learn the business trading, five star for customer service classes, live trading room for those who criticize the trade recommendations okay, that are made in the live room, what does not work for my risk. Okay. I pass and concentrate on what best suits my risk. In general, highly recommend. Okay. And uh, for the part and grateful to Theo, let's get into it. Probability and profitability. So now we're actually going to talk in detail about trading. All trading is actually based on probability. All trading. You may not think that, but it is. Okay. But probability is not the end all be all. We can create trades with a 90% probability of success, but you can still lose money. Does that make sense to everybody? Like 90% probability of success. But what's going to happen to the other what? 10% of the time. Probability alone does not make you profitable. Probability alone does not make you profitable. Remember that. Markets are always a series of trade-offs. Higher probability, higher risk. Right 90% of the time can still lose money. But where can you find edge? Because that is what people come here for. Is It's not somebody to just tell them like, this is what you're going to do. Okay, let's get ready. Let's get into this right now. So I use what I term a very baseline example. When I say I use a baseline example over here, okay, what I mean by that is I use a very similar example every time I do a presentation because I want to make sure that everybody understands conceptually where we're at before we kind of move forward. So here we have a stock and the stock is basically trading at 100. Sound reasonable? Okay, it's a stock and the stock's trading right at 100. Now, this stock, you call it anything you want. I like to call stock stock. Okay. Why? I don't know. Cause I'm strange. Right. So do I own the stock? I do not. Do I want to own the stock? I do not. Why do I not want to own the stock? Because what if the stock sells off? Like if you looked around this market lately, you know, one day it's down, you know, like 10%, the next day it's up like 11%. It's just, it's chaos out there right now. It really is. I think that that's the best terminology. All I want to do in this business to function in this business Let's go out, grab a couple of bucks, get back, reduce my risk, live, tell the story. That's it. Okay. All you need to do, all right, all you need to do is generate some small returns very consistently month in and month out. And that's exactly what we're going to focus on right now. So for the first example, I'm going to come out here and I'm going to say, I'm going to buy, all right, a 120 call. And that call is going to cost me exactly one dollar and that is actually a debit and we're going to make this trade good for three months okay now buying a 120 call so let's talk just in general about options real real basic stuff a 120 call look first and foremost do we own the stock no we own no stock what am I doing in here? I have a 120 call. What's a 120 call? For those of you that have never traded an option before, well, it's a 120 call. 120 call gives you the right to buy the stock at 120. Now, I want you to remember this. I'm a buyer. I'm a buyer of the 120 call because buyers have rights, sellers have obligations. If I buy the 120 call, what is a 120 call? 120 call gives me the right to buy the stock at 120. Do I really want to buy the stock at 120? No. So why do I buy the 120 call? Because I'm trying to make some money off of it. But if the stock is at $100, like we have to get all the way to 120 just for me to be able to do what? I'm really not even breaking even at that point. I have to go to 120 plus the dollar I paid just to be able to break even. That's a big boy move, right? But I want you to get this methodology down of like, you can buy a 120 call. And if you buy a 120 call, let me ask this question. Let me ask this question. If you buy a 120 call, where do you want this stock to go? Hmm? See if you guys get that. This 
is very much a directionally biased position. If you buy a 120 call, where do you want the stock to go? I like it. Somebody said up. Okay. Somebody said 121. He's right. I mean, if the stock moved quickly to like 110, you might make some money. But overall, you have three months in which that stock better appreciate above 121 or you're you know, off with your head, you lost a dollar. So what's going to happen most of the time? Most of the time, stock stays flat or goes down, you lose your buck. Stock goes way down, you lose your buck. Stock goes up, you lose your dollar. Stock goes to 120, you lose your dollar. Even if the stock gets to literally 120, you might wet yourself, right? At, at some point, oh, I'm so close to making money, but you're still going to lose your dollar. Unless we jump up here to like 130, not exactly a party, right? Okay. From a probability point of view, that has a very low probability. Now, I'm just going to give you the opposite. What's the opposite? For every buyer in this business, there's a what? There's a seller. So now we're going to go out and we're going to examine, okay, sell. Sell what? The 120 call. And I'm going to make this one exactly a $1 credit. So it's exactly a $1 credit. Let's also make this for three months. Let's take that down here. So I'm going to sell a 120 call and I'm actually going to collect $1 credit. Now, time out. So those of you, okay, those of you actually that have looked at this, don't, don't try to handicap where I'm going with this just yet, okay? Because yeah, selling weekly, selling monthly, reduce the basis, forget about all that. Forget it. Okay, because what people are missing over here is, is a very big component because you're looking at this, you go, why are you going three months out? I'm going three months out because I want to torture you. Just wait. <laughs> There's another slide behind that. This is where the novices in here, the novices are just trying to grab onto what a 120 call is. The experienced traders trying to step in, they're like, why are you doing this? Why? You're going to see in a moment. You're going to figure out what Ultima is here pretty quick. So when I mention the term Ultima, right? This says Ultima alert. People are thinking like it's a play on the word of like ultimate. No, it's not. <laughs> Ultima is actually a type of volatility. If you actually went, you know, on there and said, you know, what what is, you know, uh, what is like Ultima? I wouldn't, you know, if you Google that, like I'll come up, but like ChatGPT actually understands what Ultima happens to be. It's a type of volatility arbitrage. It's the volatility, the volatility, the volatility. And Ultima is actually how you can make money right now. But very few people understand that. And again, the whole goal of this slide right here, just time out for a second. The whole goal of this slide right here, I'm going to show you an edge, okay? For those of you, everybody thinks they're very smart and everybody follows stuff. You didn't see this one, okay? People don't see this edge unless it's pointed out specifically to them. And that's exactly what I am here for is to show you like retail traders just run screaming, okay, right into a fire and they don't look at the mathematics behind it. And that's what this is, you know, going to do. So I'm going to go out and I'm going to sell a 120 call. Now, for those of you that are brand new, selling a 120 call, you go, how can you sell something you never owned? Well, in options, you could be both a buyer or a seller at any point in time. Now, for those of you that are experienced, don't worry about margin right now. Don't worry about margin. Just, just calm down. I'm going to cover margin. Breathe. There's a way around margin. Okay. There is a way around margin. Again, I had a long career in the brokerage world. So I am on a first name basis still with people at FINRA and the SEC and the NFA and the CFTC all the lovely regulators in the world, okay? But I'm going to go out and I'm going to sell a 120 call. I'm selling myself though here into an obligation. Do I own stock? No. Do I want to own stock? No, I do not. I am selling a 120 call. And for all intents and purpose, just for this example, just so you understand, this is not the full, the full Monty yet, but just so you understand, I am selling this naked because I need you to conceptually know where we're going. If I sell a 120 call, this could have a lot of risk and I'll show you where the risk is in a moment. But if I sell a 120 call and I collect a $1 credit, first of all, what's the most I can possibly make? If you sell something for a dollar, what's the most you can make? What's the most I can make? Come on, come on. Most I can make is a dollar. If you sell a car for like a thousand bucks, the most you can make is a thousand bucks. Here, if I do a one contract, okay, if I did one contract, I can make a hundred bucks. You're like, really? 
Really, dude? I got to sit here for three months, three months to make a dollar? That doesn't seem worth it. Just, just, just calm down. I promise we'll make this better. You have to find edge and then you have to learn to exploit edge. So once you find some mathematical edge, when I say exploit it, okay, you got to crack open that thing like a coconut and find out, oh, there's good stuff in here. Well, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to sell a 120 column. We're going to collect a dollar. We're going to sell a 120 column. We're going to collect a dollar. Most we could possibly make is a dollar. But time out. Think about this from a probability point of view. If the stock stays flat, I keep my buck. If the stock goes down, I keep my buck, right? If the stock goes up, even to 110, I still keep my buck. Even if the stock goes to 120 here, you really will wet yourself if it goes to 120, but I still keep my buck. Where do I start losing money? Start losing money above 120. And if the stock jumps up here all the way to 130, you're a loser. Look, you, when you sell a 120 call, you're obligating yourself. Say obligate. I'm obligated to give somebody my stock at 120, but you don't own any stock. So what do you have to do? You'd have to buy the stock at 130 to give somebody stock at 120. You go, I don't even have the money in my account. Don't worry about any of that yet. We're going to reduce the risk of this trade. But I want you to understand from a pure probability point of view, okay? From a pure probability point of view, recognize something, okay? You're out here selling something at the 120. 120. You realize that is 20% out of the money. That is way out. That's nosebleed seats. In fact, that's not even nosebleed seats. You're in the parking lot tailgating while there's a game going on. Okay. That is way out there. And I'm doing that because this trade has inherently an incredibly high probability of success. The trade right off the bat, okay, can have as high is a 95% probability of making money. Now, the whole key though was trying to keep the money, right? But I want you to understand that this trade has an incredibly high probability of making money. Are we okay so far? Everybody okay? Everybody okay? Because here come the questions. The questions always like come about and they go, uh, excuse me, sir, why sell options so far out in time? Okay. You may have noticed in my example that I sold options a few months out in time. Okay. Typically, traders sell shorter dated options. That's exactly why you're tuning into this. You're tuning into the webcast because what differentiates the O trade is about specific criteria. Criteria is of critical importance. What criteria is, is it's great when somebody says, you should sell options. Have you looked at an options chain lately? Seriously. Go out there, look at an options chain. Let's not go to Walmart. Let's go right to the spiders. I'll talk a little bit about the spiders, okay? Spy. Look at the option chains. There's 0, 1, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13. Set, hut, hike. Look how many option expirations there are. It's insane, okay? So somebody can say sell options all day long. They're not saying which options, okay? Then you have all these like, you know, people that are like, you should sell very short dated options because... What they're going to show you is a decay graph. How many people have seen the decay graph? Okay, almost everybody. Come back to that in a second. But you're tuning into this webcast because you need to learn criteria, specific importance. When I show you the decay graph, okay, we all know this. Options. Options decay more rapidly the closer you come to what? Expiration. How many people have heard that before? Okay, it's a decay graph, of course. Options decay faster the closer you come to expiration. What if everything you learned in there, okay, was actually wrong? And what happens if the people teaching you never actually looked into the mathematics of it, okay? So yes, options in fact do decay. Options do decay faster the closer you come to expiration. But that's what we term theta decay. We're here today to talk about what? Ultima Ultima, okay? We're here today to talk about Ultima. Now, okay, proof's in the pudding. Let's actually jump from a theoretical example like we just did a moment ago. Like I can jump back here and show you like a theoretical example and you're like, oh, wait, wait, wait for it. There you go. It's a great theoretical example. Let's go into the real though. And when I say the real, let's actually go right here 
onto the, this is the Thinkorswim platform. By the way, there are two primary trading applications I use. I use Thinkorswim and I use Tasty Trade. And I kind of go back interchangeably. Most of the trades I do these days are actually here on Tasty. Okay. I still do trade on Thinkorswim though. So I go back and forth pretty seamlessly. Okay. Um, and it's, it's basically a new platform versus an old platform, Thinkorswim. It's, it's getting old. Um, Tasty Trade is from the founders, the original founders of Thinkorswim built Tasty Trade. So uh, I'm going to go here into the spiders. Now, for those of you that do not know the spiders, the spiders, it's one of the most prolific, if, if not the most prolific product in the industry. It's already traded 3 million contracts today. It's, it's basically the reason I'm using the spiders. It's the most liquid animal out there, period. Okay. The liquidity in terms of the number of contracts that go through a product, nobody trades more than the spiders. So in the first example, you know what? I'm even going to over-exaggerate this example. Over-exaggeration. I'm going to go 115 days out. 115 days out. And you can see, all right, I don't mind saying I've got positions, positions, positions. You can see it, right? I'm not going to hide anything from you. Again, uh, as I say, the proof is kind of in the pudding here. I'm going to go out 115 days, and I'm going to give you my first example here. Uh, any example I do can and will be used against me. No, uh, the examples that I do, these are trades that, of course, not only would I place, I have placed already. We're going to take a look at these 495s. Let's go look at the 495s, okay? So I'm going to write this up. Let's say for argument's sake, okay, I'm going to go all the way to the 15th, okay? That was a terrible five. I'm going to go all the way to the 15th, of March, that five's not much better. The 15th of March, okay, and I am going to sell the what? The 495 calls, and I'm gonna sell them, let's say, I don't know, $1.37. Let's say it's, I'm gonna sell them for $1.37, okay? So let's see if that can get done. So if I came in here and I said the market's uh, 136, 138, Okay, 136, 138, I'm going to route a 137. Okay, there's the market, 136, 138. I'm going to route a 137. Either they fill me or have to represent me. They're going to move that market to 137, which means my one lot, for those of you that don't know this, my one lot is right there. You can actually see it. It's tying up the entire exchange. They cannot trade through me. They have to fill me before they can trade anything else at 137. I am the offer right now. And that totally wigs people out, but you're like, you moved the market. Of course I moved the market. I'm the best offer in the marketplace. One of my specialties, of course, is order routing. Why? 15 years. Who do you think built some of the order routing capabilities on Thinkorswim? So I have routed tens of thousands of orders on this platform. So we're 136 at 137. They're going to fill me. Okay. How did I know they were going to fill me? Because I can actually watch the marketplace uptick here and knew I was going to get a fill. All right, so we're filled. Now that I have filled, and again, I traded a couple of these already, right? I traded one the other day at 115, now at 137. So now that I'm filled, okay, on this 115 call, and again, I apologize, the 495 call, the 495 call, it's 115 days out, okay? How can I make money on this? This is where I fold my hands. How can I possibly make money on this? So how am I going to make money? The option's 115 days out. You know as well as I know, there's not going to be much what? There's not going to be much decay here, right? Because options don't decay very rapidly until they get close to expiration. Okay? What if what we learned is not exactly accurate? What if I actually looked at the 115 day? I want to make a quick point. We're going to look at this 115 day and we're going to fast forward Let's fast forward to the 87 day. When I say that, now time out, because people are a little newer to this. We sold the 495s and we sold those for $1.37. That's a real trade. It is executed. This is not paper trading. And that trade is presently thrown probably down below because I didn't, I didn't allocate that one to a particular portfolio. But, um, oh, it is actually, it's in here. There's a two lot now right here. Okay, that's one of them. Anyway, the trade is absolutely live. So I go out and I sell this and it's got 115 days out. So the 495 call, okay, 
I want to look at that exactly one month into the future. Let's see, can I have made, can I make money, you know, just selling this one option? Because, you know, everybody's out there and like, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. Look, all I'm doing right now, all I'm doing is going out there, sold. I'm selling something 115 days prior to expiration. Let's fast forward. When I say fast forward, we're going to look at the 115 day expiration. We know the options trading for $1.37. Then we're going to look at the 87 day expiration. We're going to look exactly at the 495 call. If you want to know the future price of an option, just look okay, at the 87 day. Why? How many days are between 115 and 87? How many days are between this? What is it? 28 days? It's 28 days, right? Is everybody okay? Because I want to make sure that everybody gets this. Because you know, in in this in this business, it's it's so critical that we kind of understand conceptually where we're going. All I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the 495 call with 87 days remaining. Why? Look, assume all factors being held equal. I want to show you how quickly options are going to decay and have a lot of time. Because people, I'm selling the 495s. We're at 450. Okay, look how far we have to go. We're in the nosebleed sections, right? We're way out here. We got a rally and rally and rally. Could it happen? Yes, of course it can happen. There's no free lunch in this business. But look, if I go all the way out to here to the 87 day, to the 87 day, we're going to look at these 495s. Let's assume exactly, okay, let's assume exactly what? 28 days from now, we buy it back. So we're going to turn around and we're going to buy the 495 call. And exactly, okay, 28 days from now, it's going to cost me what? Let's just say we hit the marketplace, 64 cents, okay? What am I making on this? What am I making on it? So I went out there and sold something for $1.37. I just turned around and bought it back for 64 cents. What? Less than 28 days later, how much have I made? How much have I made on this? Okay. Everything you do, if you follow this, is greater than, okay, it's greater than 50% in less than 28 days. So the decay rate is massive. You're collecting over 50% of the premium in 28 days for doing absolutely nothing. And then I asked you the question, how come you're not doing this right now? And people go, holy crap, I don't get it. How is that even possible? How can the option decay so rapidly that far out in time? The answer is Ultima, okay? It's basically what we term the lying down of the skew. It's, there's skew. And if you're not familiar with skew, okay, we are talking about S-K-E-W, skew. We're talking about skew. And that skew is absolutely rocking over the last few years in this business, and everybody seems to miss it. You're making over 50%. This is repeatable. This is not like once or twice. We've been doing this, okay, since 2020. The skew changed in 2020 of the onset of COVID. Hasn't lied down, not gonna, okay? Now that they've raised rates, it's even exemplified. Like, it's just, it's an exemplary time in terms of an environment for this type of a trade. It's greater than 50%. We okay? Okay, you're making basically what, you know, 70 odd cents, even after transaction costs and everything, unequivocally spectacular trade. And you're worried about risk. And I get it. You should be worried about risk. And we're going to talk about risk, but I want you to see, okay, making over 50%. By the way, we can do this in a number of different ways. You're like, oh, did I, did I have to go out there at 115 days? I can show you the same example. Look, 100 days, 71 days. Want to see? Okay, just you have to know what options to zero in on. So here is a 490. The 490 is trading for $1.40. Okay. What's that 490 going to be trading? What's the 490 going to be trading for when there's 71 days left? Survey says, okay, 54 cents. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay. There is a perfect, perfect time horizon. And that's what I'm trying to zero in on. All right. Time out. Do we understand? Do we understand why Am I selling some options so far out in time? Because this is not the decay you're looking for. This is not the decay you're looking for. And I want to make sure that everybody understands that, okay, anybody can do this. They have to know though, all right, I'll go into the QQQ. Like earlier, I was saying like 50% return here and 60% return there, 50% return here. How do you think I'm doing that? 
people, I'm just going out. You want to see it again? Let's go to the queues. This is the QQQ. It's the NASDAQ, right? Everybody's familiar with the NASDAQ. Let's go 115 days out in the NASDAQ. Okay. And I'm going to go to a very specific option. Here we go. That one's going to work the 445s, right? So I know exactly where to look. So if I sell, okay, the 445s, if I sell the 445 calls and I sell those right now, we'll say for, I could hit the market right now at a buck 16. If I sell those for a dollar 16, and again, those are the 15th of March, okay? What happens if, and again, all factors being held equal. I know the market can go up and I know the market can go down, but all factors being held equal. Let's show you the decay rate because I can actually tell you right now, people are going to be like, no, if we rally, you're going to lose money. Maybe, maybe not, because maybe I'm trading on both sides of the marketplace. Okay. So then I'm going to open this up here at 87 days. And we're going to look at those 445s. Look at the 445, 445s. Yeah, they're right on. Look at that. Okay. Look at that. Those 445s. I can buy them back 28 days from now, those 445 calls, I'm gonna buy them back and I'm basically gonna pay, okay? This is the worst market possible, 53 cents. What am I doing? It's greater than 50%. You're making greater than 50% in 28 days. And it constantly say, how come you're not doing this? There's a couple of reasons. You don't know which options to sell. Somebody's already asking, is that 10 Delta correct? No. I'm just coming up with nice round numbers. I'm trying to find options right around a dollar right now. <laughs> the honest truth. Number one is you got to know which options to sell. Number two, number two in here, okay, which options to sell encompasses like how far out in time, what the delta should be. But the really critical thing, how do you circumnavigate margin? I'm going to show you that in a moment. Anybody here concerned about margin? Because again, this, this decay is not what you're looking for. So if I said to you, if I said to you, look, you can go out right? Go back over here for a second. You can go out and you can make greater than 50%, all right, in 28 days going out and doing this. Then what's the key? What's the key at this point to doing this, right? Seriously, what's the key? You can go out and create not much margin either, greater than 50%. What's going to be the key to doing this, all right? Obviously, you got to learn how to do it, which is going to be straightforward, the other, uh, the other uh, aspect over here, okay, is we'll even send out the uh, trades to you via text message, okay? But I still, you know, you want to learn how to do this stuff, okay? The key is here, how do you keep doing it? You just got to keep doing it and reduce the risk. Keep doing it and reduce the risk. Look, okay, the key over here is you don't have to just do one trade. You don't just do one trade and sit there, okay? Look at my portfolio really quick. What do you notice over here? It's a bunch of stuff scattered. And, and to the untrained eye, you're like, that is chaos, man. You got a lot of trades on. You got a lot of trades on. No, this is just what we term inventory. Now, I'm going to explain something, okay? And just, just hear me out for a second, right? This business, this business in trading, it's not about what you think, and it's not about what you know. You think you know something about the future? Who cares? Okay. Fundamentals right now, they're out the window. Fundamentals mattered. When I say fundamentals, the fundamentals of a business, the fundamentals mattered. Everybody would be concerned that Walmart just tanked in the most recent earnings. Isn't that true? Okay. Everybody be concerned that Best Buy just said we have an inconsistent, you know, consumer. Everybody should be concerned, but they're not. All right. The point that I'm trying to make over here, this is inventory management. Look, this, this is a fidget spinner. Okay. I just keep one on my desk. Why? They're amusing. Okay. Imagine I could go out on the internet and I could sell a fidget spinner for a dollar, but I know that I can go okay, over to some other site and buy them in bulk for 50 cents. So what's the, what's the key? Try to get through as much of these fidget spinners in terms of inventory as I humanly can. <laughs> Think about that for a second. When you see this, this is what we term inventory. Okay. When you see inventory, what it basically means is I'm trading a ton of fidget spinners. All I'm trying to do is just rip through because if I can sell them, 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 I'm bullish and bearish. I'm so bullish that I'm bearish. I'm on both sides of the market. I will explain this for you because it's so imperative that we understand you don't just do one trade and then close out because if this one works, why not do a multitude of them? Okay. 
And, and again, we don't want to over leverage you, nothing of the kind. We want to minimize your risk. And that's exactly what this is minimizing risk. This is, and I'm going to show you how you minimize your risk with putting on more trades. And you go, that looks complicated. It's not complicated. You know, when you pull the stuff off, look, right here, there's something that's almost up 50%. What do you do when it's up 50%? Close it. Why? Because it's up 50%. That's all I'm trying to make, 50%. Close it. Okay. Look at this one. That's a five lot. It's up 40%. What should I do? I'm really close to closing it, but I wait. Why? Because it's inventory management. You're in the fidget spinner business. What are you trying to do? Sell as many of these fidget spinners as humanly possible. But you got to manage the inventory. You got to sell them. Okay. You got to turn around and buy them. Before you know it, Bill, if you were in the actual fidget spinner business, you'd have to hire employees. You'd be buying insurance. Okay. Look, there's a cost to doing business. The cost of doing business here in this marketplace, you got to learn how to do this. Let's actually get into it. The other aspect, okay, is simply this. You're going to do trades that have a 90% probability all day long, but you got to find out what 10% hammer is. So you're going to make money, make money, make money, make money, make money. And then the market's going to be evil and it's going to allow you to make money for a long time. And then it's going to go, I don't like you. Okay. And it's a train wreck. We have to avoid that train wreck. Okay. How many people here have ever done a trade called an iron condor? I was talking about it earlier. If you've ever done a trade called an iron condor, right? Those have done trades called iron condors. They know, they know. And you go, what do they know? Okay. They know what happens with an iron condor. I'm just going to draw it up here really quick. That's the distribution curve. An iron condor, you sell some calls. Okay. You buy some calls. You sell some puts, you buy some puts. All you do is want this marketplace to stay, stay between the lines. And the first time you do the trade, boom, winner, winner, chicken dinner, you make money. The second time you do the trade, you amplify the contract size. So the first trade you did is in the spiders, you did one lot. The second time you did the trade, okay, you did like what? Did like a, maybe a five lot. You did like a five lot, boom, it works. The third time you do the trade, you step up into a product called the SPX. You do a one lot in the SPX, boom, it works. And the fourth time you do the trade, you do the trade in the SPX and you do a 10 lot in the SPX. By the way, the SPX is the mother of all products. The SPX is also known as the widow maker, but nobody ever tells you that. So you do the trade in the SPX and the SPX, bam, that's the one that wipes you out. The market sells off huge. You puke up half your account. You're like, oh, what happened? By the way, that happens to all premium sellers. That's actually why I say it's the 90% probability and the 10% hammer. Like if you're going to make money 90% of the time, that's lovely, okay? But you're not, that's just not going to work that way, okay? You, you got to learn how to do this properly. And that's exactly, exactly what I'm getting to. And I'm going to tell you right now, okay, this it's so straightforward. And again, somebody already came in, they got ah, too many moving parts for me. Okay. It's not a lot of moving parts. All you're doing, you're in the fidget spinner business. You're going to sell stuff. You're going to sell the exact same stuff. All you need to learn how to do is to reduce risk. That's it. And that's exactly what we're going to show you. See people, they spend too much time on like stuff like iron condors. Iron condors are complicated. Iron condors are a mess because you're selling puts, selling calls, buying calls, buying puts, trying to hedge. You're making money, making money, making money. All of a sudden, boom, you take a huge loss. Then you turn around, you go, I can fix it. I know I can fix it. Fix is a very dirty word. Fix just gets out a shovel and just keeps digging you even deeper. Fixes can work, but the very notion of fixing a trade takes more good money and throws it down a very bad hole. Look, you got to learn how to do this right. You know, if you took a car, if you took a car, and drove it off of a cliff and brought the car to a body shop, they'd be like, oh, that's a nice piece of junk. What am I supposed to do with that? We'd say the same thing about your trade. Look, selling options premium, okay? Selling options premium. You, okay, are about to learn about what this business is really about, okay? Now, before I even take a step further, before I take a step further and show you what this business is really about and that how straightforward this is, Fidget spinners, I'm going to sell stuff. Fidget spinners are going to sell stuff. Before I even get any further, how many people here want to learn how to do this with very nominal amounts of margin? Anybody want to learn how to do this? Circumnavigate margin requirements? Okay. Anybody? Mm. So when I do this trade in the spiders, see the spiders? By the way, I, I actually uh, would agree with this. This one's intimidating. 
<laughs> I built this position to look a bit a little bit intimidating. Um, but this this is inventory. And I'm, I'm actually going to show you exactly what this position is in a moment. Um, this is this is just a position I threw on and I threw it on. Like, by the way, you can look at every when I say every single trade that I've done, the exact date and time I put the trade on. This is a very recent trade. I just popped a bunch of trades on. Why did I do it? Okay, because I needed examples. I needed examples for a, a portfolio. I have other portfolios that are running, but I wanted a more complete example, right? Specifically so that I can go in there and we can dissect this a little bit. And I needed a little bit of a complicated example for this one for, uh, for people that were managing much bigger inventories. But before I go any further, margin requirements. Margin is like the bane of the existence, okay? To circumnavigate margin requirements, <clears throat> here's what we have. Okay, when you trade products like Spider, make this clear. When you trade products like Spy, Spy is an SEC registered product. It eats huge margin. Here we have what we term MES. Not too many people have heard of an MES or an ES. What's the ES? The ES right here, okay, it's one of the most liquid products in the entire industry. It's the S&P options and futures, okay? That's the futures contract. This also has options. This has options, okay? Are they the same? Same as what? Same as spiders? Yeah, they are. So how come everybody doesn't trade them? I don't know. They're a fairly new product. This only came out a few years ago. So what's an MES? Look, do you see the option chain on here? It's 115 days out. Can I just use that one? What's an MES? An MES is a micro S&P. It's half the size of the spiders. It's also probably the greatest product ever in terms of margin, because if I go into this, and this is a $5,000 account, if I go in here and I say, I'm going to sell this option right here, and I hit review and send, look okay, at the reduction in buying power. I'm, I'm going to highlight it here because it's a little bit weird to see if you've never seen this before, but right there, it's $697.00. Okay, to sell that option. That's the margin, $697. If I did that in the spiders in a regular margin account, it would be outrageous. It'd be like, be like $20,000, $30,000 a margin for like one contract. But here in the MES, okay, there are no day trading margin rules here. There are limited margin. It only ties up 600 bucks. Okay, you can collect a ton of premium only tying up 600 bucks. And you can see I've got other accounts in here where I am literally in these positions. And I wanna show you something, okay? This right here, see right there where it says minus one, what does that mean? If it says minus one, that must mean that what? I'm in that position. Look at the contract size there, okay? It's an options and a futures contract. Don't panic, because even the most experienced people in here, they go, I've never traded one of those. I'm kind of nervous about that, don't be. It's, it trades exactly like the spiders, There's no difference. Okay, but I want you to see because people always ask me the question: If this is so good, how come everybody doesn't do it? This is one of the portfolios that we're in. Look at the contract size around us. Look at that one. Notice anything different? Okay, that's one point six five thousand contracts. Why? That's us. When I trade, okay, I send out a text message. Now that's only one of the portfolios. If I take a look, and I open up another one over here, look, this one, this one. You're almost up to 2,000 contracts in here, just shy of 2,000 contracts, okay? Why are there 2,000 contracts in there? Because we are trading them, all right? Look, we're trading it. And when you go in here and you're going to sell options premium, now let's let's get really down to, to brass tacks over here. Close this up. We're going to come back over here. We're going to look at spiders, okay? The spiders are presently trading at 450. Spiders are trading at 450. We're not, not going to just sell calls. We're also going to use puts, okay? And if you look out here, okay, these puts out here, these things are trading for like two bucks, two bucks. So let's come in here and let's actually kind of script this a little bit better for you. When I say script it, okay, I'm going to make this as clean as I possibly can. However, I'm going to do it, okay, in the spiders and I'm going to round everything. So the spy, make sure I got this just right. The SPY is trading at roughly $450. I cannot draw a five on this thing to save my life. 
trading for 450. We're going to go out just like we did a moment ago. And we're going to sell the 495 call. And that was trading for a dollar. We're simultaneously going to sell a 390 put. That will be trading for about $2. The puts are literally trading for double the calls. So we're going to collect what? A little bit of money on the call, a little bit of money on the put. Time out. We're not going to stop there. A couple of days later, the market might rally. Then I can go out and I could sell. And I'll just give you an example. I could sell like the 505 call, collect a dollar. Before you know it, I'll be selling the, uh, if we keep rallying, I'll sell the 510 call, okay, collect a dollar. Down here, I might be, I don't know, selling like a 380 call. Oh, sorry, put, 380 put, collect two bucks. Maybe we rally more and I have to turn around and sell a 400 put, collect two bucks, right? And if you're looking at this and you're like, oh man, that's, that, seems like, that seems like some work, okay? Yeah, that takes, I'm just, I know I'm writing over this, takes about two seconds. Takes about two seconds. Look, 345 put, 375 put, 380 put, 390 put. This is a little bit of a bigger inventory, okay? That right there is your inventory. Inventory, fidget spinners. If you were in the fidget spinner business, this is a white fidget spinner. I would have red fidget spinners, blue fidget spinners. I'd be selling all different colors of fidget spinners. There's no difference here. So what? So I'm selling three calls and three puts. So what? That's easy, right? Three calls, three puts. And when do you do it? Well, initially you do this when you get the text message. I mean, that's, that's pretty straightforward, okay? What's the problem over here? Problem over here is not gonna be margin. Margin's gonna be nominal. Because if you sell a call, it ties up $700 a margin. But if you sell the put, it won't tie up any more margin. So it only ties up $700 of margin for each one of these. So if I were to do three of them, 777, okay? That trade, all of that on the screen right now, ties up just over $2,000 in margin, all of it. Pretty good, right? That's collecting a lot of premium to only tie up two grand in margin. Now, what's the bigger issue over here? There is an issue on this screen and you may not see it, okay? The issue is this, one day this market's gonna rip higher or it's gonna tear lower, okay? And you are gonna get annihilated. No one can survive just selling premium naked. No one, okay? Don't ever listen to anybody that ever said, you don't need to hedge, you need to hedge, okay? 15 years in the brokerage world, I watched everything from behind the desk, okay? At Thinkorswim that happened in 2008, everything. Everybody needs to hedge, everybody needs to reduce risk. And it's the cost of doing business. If you were actually in the fidget spinner business, and you wanted to do big volume and fidget spinners, eventually you're hiring employees and there's healthcare insurance. And before you know it, you got like OSHA in your office. They're like, ah, you could slip and fall on this. Okay, it's, it's insane. The cost of doing business here in the marketplace is nominal. Let me explain, okay? Enter what we term, okay, the hedges. I want you to understand something. Sleeping at night matters. It matters to me and it should matter to you. Would you be able to sleep at night if you sold three puts naked? I'm serious about this. With all the geopolitical crap going on right now, by the way, I have no idea what that's going to look like. Neither do you, okay? With, you know, the Fed's raising rates, but don't worry. Don't worry. NVIDIA is going to save us all, okay? What? Would you be able to sleep at night if you had sold naked options? Anybody? Okay? It's not a rhetorical question. Please jump in at any time. I want to, I want to see, like, what do you think? To be able to sleep at night knowing that you had all these positions on, okay? I wouldn't. I don't mind saying that. I wouldn't, okay? I've been trading for a long time and I've woken up in the middle of the night to markets being down gigantic. I mean, that was happening. The last time it happened in a big way, of course, was, was the COVID collapse. Before that though, okay? I mean, you look back to multiple instances of Brexit, the elections of like 2016, 2015, yuan currency devaluation. In 2018, there was a crash on Christmas Eve, okay? Nobody remembers that one. Yeah, Christmas Eve, the market totally tanked, okay? And then rallied back up in 2019. It's crazy. You can't do it because one, one big move, like people just don't get it. Like you got to reduce risk. How do you reduce risk? There's three primary ways. So one, two, three. 
three ways that we often reduce risk. One is called a risk twist. It's called an RTS spread, risk twist, RTS, risk twist spread. Second one is known as a VIX vol spread. I'm going to show you that in just a second. VIX vol spread, better known as VVS. The last one is called okay, a gamma iron. All right, there's three hedges. I'm going to teach you the easiest one first. Okay, the easiest one to understand is a VIX vol spread. Look, okay, the VIX vol spread is a nominal, nominal cost. But as I'm going to tell you right now, if you want to be able to sell premium, you have to, you have to hedge in some way, shape, or form. You go, when do you hedge? You're always hedge. And I'm telling you that right now. I don't care what people say. You either hedge or I wouldn't do this. Okay, just walk away from the screen if you're not going to actually put the hedges on because you won't survive longer term, you know, unhedged. Right here, though, just right here, we're going to lay in a little tiny position. And that little tiny position is going to be called a VIX vol okay, spread, right? And that tiny little position is actually placed in a product called VIX. I am no advocate of VIX, okay, in terms of understanding it, in terms of volatility. But the VIX itself can be an incredibly powerful risk reduction tool. Because for those of you that understand this, okay, if the market sells off, where does the VIX go? Unequivocally, where does it go? Up, hands down. And I'm not talking for like a little bit of a sell-off. If that market went from where it presently is, 450, and we got slammed down to 390 or 400, I'm talking ugly moves of 10 plus percent. When the market goes down, the VIX goes kaboom. Guess what? We have this little VIX fall spread in here. You know what the VIX fall spread does? The second the market really collapses, the VIX fall spread comes to life and opens up a little parachute and an umbrella to cover the risk. Does it cover all the risk? Absolutely, unequivocally not, okay? But it actually covers risk. All you have to know is how many VIX fall spreads to put on for this position. That's it. And you only have like, what, three positions in here? It's a very nominal, negligible cost, if you will, to reduce downside risk. To the upside, we actually use something called a gamma iron, which is actually like purchasing an iron condor. If the market explodes higher, okay, you have to actually pass through the hedge before you actually take a hit here. And people look at this, they go, oh, oh, man, there's a cost of doing business. Look, okay, anything that you're going to do in this business, anything you're going to do in life, and I'm pretty adamant about this, okay? Because, you know, people go, ah, look, you don't have to learn a lot here. As I said, it's a few hours to get up and running to be able to do this. You look at it and there's a lot going on on the screen and look, okay? Right now, you could have two positions on with a very nominal size hedge. You're done. You don't have to put on three positions. You don't have to put on multiple hedges, okay? Put on a couple positions and build your way into it. Your inventory doesn't have to be extensive, but if you want to make money in this business and you don't have to want to sit there and sweat about, are we going up? Are we going down? Look, most of the time, these positions go completely, what? They're, they're 90, 95% probability. These trades have a 90 to 95% probability. We can show you that all day long. All you have to do is look over here at an option chain. You look at an option chain, you open up that 115-day expiration, like I opened a moment ago. See this 115-day expiration? Okay, where it says right there, right there. I sold those 495s. Let's go switch that to what's called probability, OTM, probability out of the money. That trade right there has a 90% probability. This one has a 93% probability. Most of the time, you're not going to have to do anything. Okay, so why do you hedge? Just in case. Okay, it's a sacrificial lamb. You know, most of the year, I live on an island. And I always thought to myself, if this island had a volcano, I would carry the lamb up there, throw the lamb into the volcano. Okay, why? Ah, sacrificial lamb. I think of the hedge the exact same way. You got to put it on. It's the cost of doing business. And anything that you're going to do in this life, okay, first of all, if it's worth doing, you have to learn something. Okay, people think they're going to get into the stock market. People think they're going to get into the stock market. I ain't got to learn nothing. Okay, you know, if you're a doctor, you spent what, eight years in school? Okay. Eight years in school, the fellowship, you know, different, you know, how many different internships? And like, finally, after about 12 years, you're ready to go. 
Okay, here, this is not rocket science. This is how trading firms function, right? I worked for one of them. This is how they function. All they do is go out and sell some premium, mitigate risk, get back and go, when do you close the position? When you make 50%, okay? Look, people, this is what's so critical. This is what you want to learn. This is why you want to sell premium. You can do this in a small account under 5,000. You can even do this in an IRA. Produce positive decay, enhances existing positions, provides an incredibly high probability of success. You're never needing to buy or sell stock. You could be wrong on market direction. Let's be wrong on market direction, okay? Why be wrong when you can be so right? This is not about right or wrong. It never has been. That's a bunch of retail garbage because that sells advertising on CNBC, okay? This is an inventory. And that inventory, like it's not a huge inventory. It's up 175 bucks today, right? My aggregate is up about $8,000 today. And again, I don't mind showing you, let's total all the accounts in here, okay? Ah, it's up about 8,500 bucks. That's just here on Thinkorswim, but it's important. No holds barred. I showed you every position, okay, in here. It's so critical, all right? You could be wrong in market direction, still produce profitable trades. And I'm telling you right now, more than ever, you need this in your life. You think that this marketplace is going to be a cakewalk? There is no more cakewalk, okay? There's no more IPOs. Every IPO out there that's initial public offering, okay, they go down. Why? Look, corporate governance out of control right now. Look, selling premium could potentially bring in consistent returns while minimizing your risk. If you want to learn how to do this, in a moment, we're going to discuss criteria. But before I discuss criteria, I want to show you something. Here are live trading examples. Bear with me for a second. When I say examples, every trade that I'm about to show you, every trade that I'm about to show you was placed live. Every trade was done, okay, uh, in a live account, I'm going to show you in just a moment, variations of all the trades can be done with as little as $2,000 in a funded brokerage account. And all of the trades that I'm showing you right now, they can be done inside of retirement accounts. Everything I'm showing you can be done in a retirement account. I just want to show you really quick here. I'll start with something easy like on Tesla. Now look, okay, we're all the way back to 2021. Why? I wanted to give you a track record. I'm going to show you 18 months of results, okay? Why 18 months of results? Because then I'm just gonna jump over to a live portfolio. Let's make sure I've got it up over here as I'm uh, doing this. I'm gonna jump over to a live portfolio and I'm gonna show you, okay, everything that we're doing right now in the live portfolio. And again, this is a very, when I say a no holds barred approach, this is a Theo Theta portfolio, okay? You can see all the opening trades, all the opening trades, on top, and then all the closed trades. These trades, literally, you can copy the trade itself, right click, copy it, and paste it directly into a trading application. It's pretty cool. Okay. We can get you on for text messaging immediately on here. Now, this is it's just one of the portfolios we have. Okay. This is the bigger portfolio. We also, okay, we also have under portfolios a small portfolio. Why would you want that? Maybe you only have a $5,000 account, maybe a $2,000 account. This one over here, this is for the $50,000 account. Okay, I'll show you all of it, but I'm just showing you where these trades were done. This right here is a screenshot from Thinkorswim. Thinkorswim is known as TOS. It's a screenshot. All I did is took the exact date and time. This is the opening, the closing, the open to close. Okay, The exact options I traded, the opening price and the closing price, and then of course the return. Everybody okay? Listen, I'm going to show you 18 months of examples. I'm going to fly through them. Why? Because I think you guys are going to get it. And I think you've already gotten it to some extent. Okay. All I have to do is go out and do really high probability trades. It's very, very infrequent that I'll ever even use my hedges. Tesla, 58% return, bond, short put. You go time out. You can trade bonds. Why not? You want to see? Okay. Look at this. When I say you want to trade bonds, you're curious. Let's go back to bonds. Let's show you everything I've done over the last, I don't know, 90 days. 90 days in bonds. You want to see what I've done? 19 orders, 19 fills. Okay. Oh, I've look to close, to close, to close, to open, to open, to open, to close, to open, to open, to close, to close, to open, to close, to close, to close, to close, to open, to close. Every one of these trades, okay, is profitable. Everything I've touched in here is profitable. These are bond trades in the middle. Okay of the biggest bond crash in recent history, okay? In any history, in fact, uh, 
we actually not only traded bonds, but traded bonds and navigated it incredibly successfully. Okay. And again, as I said, we'll show you every single trade. That's That was recently, that was the last 90 days. Here, this is all the way back in 2021. Bonds, 57% return. Bonds, 53% returns. IWM, 62%, 53%, 76%, 60%. Now, this is spiders. Okay. 50% return, 51% return. All I'm doing is just toggling through here. Okay, 49%, 50%, 62%, QQQ, 53%, 50%, 50%, 64%, 53%, 57%, 56%. Okay, as I'm scrolling through, look, there's a 19% loss. <gasps> but still my heart. It happens, people. You can have law losing trades. It's infrequent, but this was a huge run up in IWM. And I actually took a loss in here. Didn't even use the hedge. I just took a 19% loss, walked away, was glad to tell the story about it. 54% or 52%. As I scroll through here, okay, and again, there are literally hundreds of trades in here. As I scroll through, what I want you to understand is the better you get at this, okay, you can change up which products you use. You're going to see me, okay, bonds, bonds, Tesla, QQQ, Amazon, QQQ. All of these are right around a 50% return because that's exactly what I'm shooting for. As you get more experienced, you'll move from spiders, okay, you use ES. And now, okay, the most prolific product to use right now is MES. The reason you don't see MES in this portfolio, this portfolio is the $50,000 portfolio. The MES portfolio is for the $5,000 portfolio, right? As I'm scrolling through some of the returns in here, 50%, 50%, okay? Once you actually learn the ropes to some degree, okay, we'll switch up strategy just a little bit on you. This is what we call a Christmas tree. A Christmas tree is a one, okay? One, three, five ratio or a one, three, four, five ratio. Want to see a real Christmas tree? This is a Christmas tree. You can actually see it embedded in here. There's a one, three, okay? Four, five ratio trade in here. That's what this little monkey is. 85% return, okay? I opened it for a $21 credit, closed it for a $3 debit. Just crack that one out of the park, okay? 57% return, 53% return, 55%, 19%, 50%. And again, I intermix another Christmas tree spread. Open this for a $22 credit. I had to chunk out of it, okay, for a net credit, 92% return, right? Okay, ES, 52%, ES, 52%, 53%, 54%, 53%. Okay, 57%, 54%, another Christmas tree spread. Every one unit of this trade made $3,953 profit. Meaning if you did a one by three by four by five, it would have made about $4,000 profit. Somebody was asking about the SPX. The SPX, absolutely we trade the SPX, but I'm gonna tell you this. Uh, we, when I say we, going all the way back to market making days, we made markets in SPX. It is the most unfriendly product for retail traders available. It's just not very friendly. Your experience level you better have 15 years plus experience. I would say to trade that I would use spiders or ES well before that. And that's, that's my, uh, you know, my honest opinion on that product. And, and again, we made markets in there. ES 53%, 50%. So now we're into 2022. Okay. And still just scrolling through return after return. Okay. And this was a volatile year. It was a great year. Another Christmas tree spread, $1,000 profit for one unit, okay? 50% return, 50%, 62%, 52%, 50%, 54%, 51%, 51%, okay? 51% return. Now stop right there. That's 18 months of trades. And I just scrolled through like, you know, a oh, hundred some odd like, you know, trades in that time frame. Look, you go, well, what happened after that? What happened after that is number one, I, uh, I got very tired of copying and pasting my trades in here. But number two, we just show you everything that we do right on the site. Okay. This is, this is, you know, 2023. You can see all the trades that we presently have on. You can see there's a lot of activity, you know, right now, not much that activity here in November. Things kind of quieted down with the rally though, but you can go to page two. Okay. See everything that I did, right. Literally on a year to date basis. If this is not, a tremendous amount of trades. I just go out there, put on a trade, close it, put on a trade, close it. Okay. And look, you can even see something expired in here. What expired? It's a hedge. A hedge expired. Expired worthless. 
And then you can see all the closing trades. Okay, to close, to close, to close, to close, to close. And every time you see a closing trade, people, these are profitable trades. Close profitable trades. Okay, all of these in 2023 are profitable trades. Okay, I don't want you to think again, it's an inordinate number of trades. It's not an inordinate number of trades. Now that's the Theo Theta big portfolio. We also, also have a Theo Theta small portfolio. And the small portfolio is designed expressly for the MES, where we're actually opening up a contract that's it's much smaller. It's just designed for like $5,000 accounts. And look, if you don't have a lot of time, it's not a problem. Every trade that I just displayed to you, every single trade was displayed live at TheoTrade. Every trade I just displayed to you, okay, was texted out, both large and small. I'm going to say that again. Every single trade was texted out, both large and small. You select which portfolio you want. Everybody gets access to both portfolios. You just say, hey, I want to see the large portfolio. I want to see the small portfolio. Or you can select both. That's fine. Okay. This is not sitting in front of the screen all day long. The last trade that I placed in the portfolio was November 10th. And you go, well, what are you doing over the last 11 days? making money and just sitting tight, okay? You don't have to sit there and trade all day. What happens is you sit there, you do nothing for like 10 days and all of a sudden a little flurry of trades. You do nothing for 10 days, flurry of trades. On average, there's probably two, three trades, okay? In a week, on average, okay? It probably averages out to that. But generally speaking, what happens is you do like five trades within a three or four day period. And then you go blank for like 10 days. You do five trades in a three day period and you go blank for like 10 to 15 days. Okay, selling premiums is totally hands off. You can even use set and forget order types. What's set and forget? That's a good till canceled. Even a fraction of your time is good enough to see results because we're providing now it's real time alerts. And I want to be adamant about something. When I say real time alerts, when we trade, we have an algorithm that literally reads it, fires out a text message. Okay, it's that easy. What better time? Look, I know that not everybody here has time to learn a new skill set. Okay. That's one of the reasons though we have the real-time alerts. The biggest differentiating factor when we started TheoTrade, when we started TheoTrade, we just really did a lot of education. And uh, the longer we've been doing this since, since 2020, we started running this portfolio and the portfolios had phenomenal results. And we were texting those trades out to clients anyway. Okay. Now, some people come just for the, uh, for the text messages. Some people come for the education. That's up to you. But selling premium is a wonderful hedge for recessionary times. Yeah, I said the R word. Because markets, markets could be a bout of chaos and volatility for years to come. All right? As long as they keep those rates up, it's going to be chaos out there. Look, if you're serious about trading, TheoTrade is by far the best resource out there. If you can't make dollars, okay, you're not paying attention. They even have a hands-off approach to trading as well. You don't really want to learn to trade on your own. Their instructor's the best in the business, June 13th, 2023. Okay. Attributes of selling high probability ultimate trades is undeniable. You don't buy or sell the stock. You can tailor risk okay, to precisely your comfort level. We teach you how to do that. We don't use stop orders. Okay. We do not use stop orders. Somebody was saying, doesn't the volatility increase our risk? On the contrary, the higher the volatility, the more we actually lean into the trading. The higher the volatility, the better it is. It's the lower, lower volatility that you got to be careful of because you got to add a little bit more hedge in the lower volatility times. It's the exact opposite of what you would think. Okay. You can vary time frames to minimize your risk. Probability of profitability is high. Probability of profitability, most of the trades. Even though the trade has a 90% probability, but there's a 95% probability of making, okay, of making about 50% or more on your money. This is the perfect strategy to enhance one stock portfolio. You can even use this against stocks if you have stocks, but it's really, it's designed to be a tool to just basically build an account, okay? And new products, which are the MES, those micros, micros and the S&Ps, look, any account size can do this. And you, you, people like, you can't do it in an IRA. Of course you can do this in an IRA. One of the accounts right here, that is my IRA, okay? This is an IRA. And yeah, you can put on positions in the IRA. There's, there's no problem with it at all, okay? So with that, building a portfolio of options. Look, for those of you that are newer to this, do not let the options portion of this intimidate you. Let the alerts do the work for you. Now, it's gonna take you, okay? Maybe a couple of hours to get like that upstart going, 
but we have that for you. When I say we have that for you, I mean, here at Theotrade, you actually look, there's a whole start here menu. I'm gonna click on it, start here menu. What is the start here menu? For those of you who know nothing about options, you start here. It's that easy, 101, 201. As I said, it takes just you know a few hours, you're up and running. Selling premium can be done okay, initially for very minute credits, at very, very minimal risk. So you can sell Ultima Premium. Look, if you don't know anything about options, as I said, do not let that intimidate you because options, first of all, options are gonna be the quickest, the fastest, the safest, the easiest way to get where you wanna go in the stock market, okay? Options take inordinately less risk than buying stock, especially in a marketplace like this. We can show you in a matter of hours Okay, how to get you just ramped up into it. That's why I was showing you that start here menu. But the bottom line is you're going to need strategies like this for the foreseeable future. Because what other game plan do you have? What, buy NVIDIA and hope it goes up? It's crazy. Okay. More importantly, for the first time in our history, we now provide real-time alerts. That's something we never really talked about in the past. We would give it to the people. But now we're saying like, look, you're going to learn this. While you're learning, just, just follow our portfolio. And that's fine with us. Be prepared for this, okay? Look, this is what you need to know to successfully sell Ultima Premium for a living. You got to know what underlying stocks or indices make the best candidates. What makes the best candidate? Well, you saw Spiders, ES, MES. What volatility should I seek out? That's something we didn't even discuss. You know, you saw a couple of trades like on Tesla and so forth. See any Tesla in here now? No, you do not. Things out of control, okay? Can't trade it. You got to have a finite amount of volatility. What options expiration do I select? You know, in a lot of the trades that we did, and I'll go right back here to the uh, to the spiders. In a lot of the trades we did, we were giving examples of 115 days. I could do 100 days, 128 days, 87 days. Set hut hike. Which expiration dials in the right amount of risk? What should be the delta of the option I sell? Ooh, we actually have a finite delta of the option you sell. What options do I buy against my position? This right here, that's the hedge. How much hedge do you use? Okay, How do I build the position? When I say, how do I build the position? That means how many options do I sell versus how much hedge do I buy? What's that ratio? And it is exactly that. It's a ratio. We actually have a class called the inflection point spread. Okay, you'll see it. It's called the inflection. It's an IPS, I-P-S. The inflection point spread is all about, okay, how much hedge do I need versus how many options do I sell? Okay, do I need a large amount of capital in my account to do this? Absolutely not. Okay, capital in the account can be negligible at this point, $2,000. And it shocks people. Look, you're not doing a huge amount with two grand in your account. Let's, let's just cut to the chase. You're not doing a huge amount. But can you do this and can you learn this with $2,000 in the account? Absolutely, unequivocally, yes. I don't care if you have $2 million in your account or $2,000 in your account. It doesn't make a difference. Everybody should start doing this with the MES. Everybody should start incredibly, incredibly small, right? What's the right amount of risk for me? We can help you fine to that. What are the percentage returns supposed to be? I'll tell you right now, on winning trades, 50%. 50%, you're out, you're out of the contest, right? How do I protect myself from market crashes? You're using hedges, okay? Let me show you exactly what we do here at Theotrade. Theotrade creates detailed, highly detailed recipes in trading. What a recipe is, okay, is literally, you know, step one, step two, step three. If you were gonna bake a cake, right? And you've never done it before, you'd probably follow a recipe. There's no difference in trading. Step one, select the product. Step two, check the liquidity of the product. Step three, what's the expiration I'm selecting? Step four, what is the delta of the option I'm going to sell? Step five, do I need a hedge? Like we literally go through. And now, and more importantly, we do real-time alerts based on this criteria. Got to have real-time alerts based on the criteria because I'm the first one to tell you, look, things in the last couple of years just got downright nuts. They're crazy right now, Okay. I, I've been trading for you know, 25 years and I've seen some volatility okay, in the last three years. It's eye-opening. I mean, really eye-opening volatility. Okay? Follow alerts, build the trades, learn how to do it. Trading is all about answering what ifs. Okay? What the criteria does is it takes you through 
It says, what might be a good stock or ETF candidate? What's the correct option expiration? How much capital do I commit? What strike options do I sell? What do I buy? How can I limit my risk? Okay, we build recipes. We answer those questions by building recipes with definitive criteria. They're literally checklists. If you hopped into the cockpit of a 737, okay, nobody hops into the cockpit and goes, sit down, throttle up and takes off. Okay. Everybody knows that pilots go through highly detailed checklists. There's no difference in trading. We have criteria. We go through checklists. Then more importantly, once you actually put the trade on, okay, what if we go up? What if we go down? What if the market crashes? What if we rally huge? What if, what if, okay, we take it a step beyond. We create alerts, but we answer all of those trading variables with criteria. We give you the checklist. I want to make something very clear. These checklists, we give them to you. Why? Yes, we will feed you trades. Yes, we have alerts that will be sent out to you through Ultima. But at the same time, we provide you all of the checklists, all of the education, so that you understand the nuts and bolts of how to do this. Theo Trade is the answer to your questions. We'll give you the right probability. We'll give you the right contract size. When do you close the premium sell? What if we sell off big? What if we crash? What if we you know, rally massively? How do I bail out of a trade? Can I fix a losing position? Look, it's about how, it's about when, it's about why, it's about what price. And I'm telling you right now, that is just, just the tip of the iceberg of the variables you're going to face with selling Ultima options for a living. Okay, Look, you can read about what selling Ultima premium is. In fact, you can Google selling options premium. 10,000 pages will come up, okay? Literally, if you Googled selling options premium, 10,000 pages will come up. Some of you have even placed a few of your own trades. But what is not there in what you've seen on Google or what is not there in your own trades is criteria. The alerts and the criteria, okay, are your recipe for success. Look, 25 years of trading experience. That's just me. That doesn't include Jeff Bierman and Blake Young, and Brandon Chapman and Corey Rosenblut and Tony Rago, okay? It doesn't even include them. <laughs> and Slim Miller, these are all, okay, instructors that are here at Theotrade. We had access to client order flow for the better part of 15 years, okay? Viewed and studied millions of trading accounts and ran education for 15 years at a firm, the largest option order flow in the industry, okay? While I was at both Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade, Okay, bar none, we had the largest option order flow on the retail side of it. We've seen what works and what doesn't, okay? And I'm telling you, that's where this criteria comes from. Ultimate Trade Alerts is your recipe for success. The following strategy and the corresponding criteria requires the utmost attention to detail. We spent years fine-tuning this trade setup, this trade, this criteria, and now real-time alerts, the convenience of your mobile device. It's the Ultima Income Generator Alerts. I want to be very clear about this, okay? You are getting alerts, okay? And you are getting alerts literally for the next year. We have never done this, okay, at a presentation like this. We are providing, okay, a Black Friday price of $7.99 for an entire year. If you've ever been to one of these presentations before, you know, okay, that the initial entry cost to get into Theotrade is $400. We usually charge $400 for three months. We're doing $799, okay, for the entire year. Now, before anybody jumps off, does anything, we're giving you a money back guarantee on it as well. You still get 90 days money back guarantee. You got nothing to lose, okay? I'll explain everything that's included, okay, right now. But with this, okay, 12 months, you are going to, after 12 months, if you want to do it again, you decide you get it at $799. We are providing a grandfathered price of $799. That is something we have not offered this okay, to anyone but members since the inception of Theotrade in 2016. Okay, We have not offered this to the general or mass public literally since 2016. Okay, This Black Friday special... Look, everybody's talking about inflation. We, okay, we now have just about 6,000 clientele here at Theotrade. One of the reasons, no one provides the kind of value that we do for that price. You could go out, you could spend $25,000 easily on a stock market education. And what we have here at Theotrade, okay, 
Everything else pales in comparison. Just give me a moment and I'm going to show you exactly what this is. And okay, this is going to include, I'm going to tell you right now, we're going to give you a mentorship for the first six weeks that you're here at Theotrade. You're going to get a full mentorship. In fact, let's talk about this. Okay. Then I'll show you everything that's encompassed in Theotrade. First of all, the Ultima Income Generator Alerts. You get access to the Theotheta large and Theotheta small portfolios. The small portfolio is designed accounts. You can do this with as little as $2,000. I kind of suggest you go in there with five grand, but you can do it with as little as 2000. The bigger portfolio is $50,000. You select which one and you go, what if I have 15 grand? If you have 15,000, you do three times whatever we're doing in the Theotheta small portfolio. If you have 100,000, you do two times whatever we're doing in the bigger Theotheta portfolio. Got it? Just bear with me, okay? The alerts, positive Theta portfolio, there's no holds barred. We show you everything, full disclosure on all trades, opening, closing, hedging positions, we show you everything. I am the trader for this. I don't have it, you know, anybody like, is there somebody behind me? In case I go down, is there anybody behind me? Yes, gentleman's name is Todd Sweet. Todd's a market maker, okay, and was a market maker for, I don't know, the better part of his entire life. He doesn't know anything else, okay? And uh, he, he's here to not only stand in for me if anything happens, okay, but he's also here to manage the risk of these portfolios. So I am the portfolio manager. I execute uh, everything myself, okay? And we also have the Theo Theta small portfolio. Now, before I go any further, this is now included, okay? This is going to be included in the 799, we are giving you okay, a mastermind. It's a mentorship. The mentorship is six weeks. It begins Thursday, November 30th. Okay, you're like, oh, it's next week. It's everything is recorded. The weekly mastermind will begin. It is Brandon Chapman. Brandon okay, wrote the book and the education for all of TD Ameritrade. I know he was in my group. Okay, But Brandon actually put together the book for education at TD Ameritrade. He wrote a course. We used to charge $24,000 for the course. Brendan Chapman's actually going to be your instructor for the six week, you know, uh, for the six weeks in here. Again, he's an industry expert, comes from, okay, both Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade. He's going to guide you through ultimate trading. Q&A sessions. You're going to have an opportunity to ask questions. Look, this is an onboarding mastermind. We want to make sure that you not just get in to Theo trade, that you have somebody to hold your hand and to walk you through the first six weeks to get you from literally zero to trade execution, right? And, and we're going to talk about the trading room and everything here in just a moment, okay? Um, <clears throat> so with that, the mastermind is going to focus on skill building, confidence, okay? It's also going to allow you to talk to other like-minded traders, totally supportive community. In fact, you'll see here in a moment, and I'll pop up in here, okay? This is Theo Trade. So we can kind of scroll through here. And again, you can see other clientele having conversations in here, a load of earlier messages. But all the instructors, when they're executing, okay, as instructors execute, trades will be highlighted in the, uh, in the chain. But there are literally thousands and thousands of different posts throughout the course of a given day here in, uh, in Theo. We broadcast throughout every single trading session. You don't have to tune into any of that. This mastermind though, this is completely included, right? So for $7.99, okay, I'm gonna show you in just a moment, everything that you included, but you get the portfolios, obviously you have access to this mastermind to get you up and selling premium. And again, it begins November 30th. So there is a little bit of an uh, urgency given the fact it's the 21st, okay? Uh, that kicks off right, and ends January 4th. Yeah, it's over the holidays. It's recorded. You're going to be just fine in there, right? All of this is going to have a 90-day money-back guarantee. So I'm telling everybody right up front, there's, by the way, this is, there's no questions asked, no excuses, nothing, okay? At any point, look, it's only $799. That's for a full year. As I said, a couple of weeks ago, if you came to this presentation, it was 400 bucks for three months. It's 400 bucks for three months. Now it's 799 for the year. And if you want to do years after that, 799, 799. 
Okay. You're locked in. You're going to be grandfathered in. And that is what we are doing for this Black Friday special. That's exactly why we're, uh, we're hosting, you know, today's kind of webcast over here. So if you follow me right now to theotrade.com forward slash Black Friday, and I actually want to take you over to the page. Okay. As soon as you pull it up over here. My family to yours. Okay. This Thanksgiving, I'm coming. All right. So it's, it's a little cheesy over here, but that's, uh, that's the island home. I am not on island home right now. I am in Paradise Valley, but uh, island home. Okay. There are 30 riskless spots. All you have to do is click add to cart. There's one other kicker in here. As you click add to cart, all right, you have a choice, single payment, okay, or four payments of $200, okay? When you actually click in here to pay, make sure when you go to pay, make sure that you put in a valid phone number. It automatically enrolls you for text messaging. We also have our own application in here. So I just want to bring this up because I think it's critically important that you see this. We have our own, uh, we have our own mobile application, okay? And the reason we have our own mobile application, in case you're in a, uh, a place around the world where you can't get text messages because text messaging is really for the United States and Canada, anywhere in the world, you can actually get push notifications. So again, single payment, okay? Or four payments of $200, but it's $799, which is a ridiculous deal. Again, we have not done this since inception of Theotrade. Now, even I'm like a little excited about it because this is me. This one's more, uh, you know, our marketing and uh, they're pretty pumped up about it. Because again, we have not offered this since 2016 to anybody outside of uh, a Theotrade clientele. So uh, click add to cart. Now to continue on over here, everything you get access to. And again, I just wanted to throw the web address up here because somebody actually uh, asked that question here. It's theotrade.com forward slash BF, B is in boy, F is in Frank, 799. Theotrade.com, okay, forward slash BF 799. BF means Black Friday, 799. And uh, everything that's kind of included here before I go any further, first of all, okay, we're not just talking about alerts. You get access to everything Theotrade has done. Theotrade has classes, okay? We have a live chat room. Do you have to pay more for that? Absolutely not. It's part of it, okay? Here's the live chat room, okay? And when I say live chat room, here, look. This is Theo Trade. okay? Right here, that's uh, Gianni. Gianni just kicked off. For those of you that are into uh, cycles, he's, uh, he's much more longer term. He's not necessarily a short-term trader. We have different genres of traders in here. Gianni, though, is live right now. Uh, he actually lives up in the uh, Detroit area, been involved in markets also his entire life. So, all right, let me put that on pause over here for a second. We also give you access to classes, catapult trading, Z spreads, inflection point, ultimate income generator. All of these classes you're given access to. That's why I said you can go and you get education anywhere. You could spend $25,000 easily, easily $25,000 in education. It will pale in comparison to our archives. Just so you guys know. That's just the options stuff, okay? Forget, like, look what we have in here. Technical analysis classes. If you're into charts, okay? We have, a, like, foremost market technicians. Jeff Bierman is also a professor of finance at Loyola, okay? This guy's actually got class after class in here. Blake Young, okay? C2 trading system. These, you have access to this from day one. What does the class look like? All you have to do is simply click on the class, Okay, click on the class. You can download the entire slide deck. You're ready to roll. Okay, it's that easy. You get access to all of this. Okay, you get access to support, meaning that you can email us anytime. We'll respond to you within 24 hours. Email us. Email us trade related questions. Nobody does that. Nobody does this stuff. And of course, you get access to multiple portfolios out there. Okay, so by the way, somebody was asking free indicators come with the membership? Absolutely. Absolutely. When I say free indicators, okay, well, here. And in terms of indicators over there, what do we have? Resources? Well, we have an entire, okay, entire area specifically for unusual option activity, okay? Again, there are services that just charge for unusual option activity. But when it comes down to it, like if you're like, well, what about, what about all the indicators that I need over there? They're all included out here, okay? What do they look like? There it is, shared starts, uh, charts, scans, and studies, okay? If you're looking for a lot of links and different studies and so forth, here they are, okay? There's hundreds of them in there, literally hundreds of different links in there. You get access to it all, 
Okay. And again, you get access to all the instructors, probably the biggest addition here, this mastermind that I'm talking about, that mastermind that you're going to go to the mastermind alone, if you clicked on it, okay, costs a thousand dollars, you're being given the mastermind. I want to make something clear. The beginner guide to ultimate trades. This is a mastermind. We used to charge a thousand dollars for it. We're giving it to you right now. Okay. That's the mastermind that kicks off. Okay. November 30th. It's yours. It's part of the 799 because we're emphatic about getting people ramped up for this the right way. All of this, as I said, has a 90 day money back guarantee. So Ultima Alert, again, this is what the uh, the portfolio kind of looks like, right? There is 56.6% uh, return. That's 2022. We also do weekly update videos. What's a weekly update video? Every Friday, I do about a 12 minute video gets you up to speed on every trade that I've done that week. And again, it's every Friday. So if you miss something, don't panic. Or you want to get in the, the mindset of why did he do that trade? Don't panic. This is going to show you how to get into that. By the way, here, okay, here's some trades. This is what text messages look like. Part one, part two. You know, people were worried about the complexity of it. <gasps> oh, but still my heart, part one and part two. Okay, when I say part one and part two, what am I referencing in here? The trades, okay, in this context, this trade's broken into two parts. There is a hedge, okay? There is a hedge. This is your hedge, and this is the actual trade, okay? That's it. That's what it looks like. And this is the Theo Theta. Again, this is the Theo Theta small portfolio. This is a closing order for a 50% profit, okay? Here's, again, uh, another closing order, 50% profit. Again, here is another opening trade, okay? Only if you have an existing hedge from previous trade. Paul said, the education is second to none, okay? And if you're a novice when it comes to markets and trading, training material is superb, professional, organized, and written in plain English. Uh, plain English, I can get that out. The professionals at Theo Trade have all the content, okay, that you can get to whatever level you want to take your trading, investing, education, and skill to. Been a member for three years, and I'm still growing, and learning and really enjoying the experience, okay? This actually comes from um, a gentleman over in Australia. I live in Western Australia, current Theotrade member, okay? Uh, completed that masterclass that, um, that Brandon does. I actually used to do that one, okay? Taste to trade account, growing account, all right? From $18,000 to $31,000 in 12 months using specifically, I wanna show you this, the micros. Because somebody asked like, oh, how much money can you make? All right? Here's an $18,000 account that went to $31,000 in 12 months using MES. Okay? And I think that that's, don't take my word for it. Look what somebody else is now starting to actually step into the ES being mindful of the margin rules. This one comes from Jim. I've traded okay, uh, options and futures for several years. Okay, And growing a small account with micros is a great review. Um, anyway, just wanted to pass along. Today's class is great. Okay, for the basics out there, again, he took his uh, daughter's futures account, ES micros only, doubled the account value in two years through 22. The inflection spread, okay, saved the day twice. That has to do with the hedging in there, all right? Uh, again, thank you for all the different pa um, point of view, right? And again, as I said, this one took $12,000 to over $32,000 in 18 months, okay? And this is a very recent email in here. So uh, thanks again so much. Look forward to new ideas in the coming year. All right. Kirk Knight, consistent, valuable education that is supported on an ongoing basis for users. Okay. Long-term with very successful results. So, all right, get into Theo Trade now. We're going to work with you directly. The one incentive that we absolutely do have for today and to incentivize you to enroll today, there are 30 riskless spots available for today. What that basically means, and I'll be very clear about this, okay, for the 90 day money back guarantee. First of all, the money back guarantee here, okay? There are absolutely no stipulations. We'll give you 30 spots. It's the first 30 people to enroll, okay? The first 30 people to enroll today, specifically for this, okay? There's a no stipulations money back guarantee. That means you don't have to show us trades. By the way, when it comes to the money day, you know, the 90 day money back guarantee, you don't have to call us. You don't have to do a little dance, make a little love. There's no certified letters in the mail. You just email us. For any reason, people, it's $800. We're going to be okay. The one thing that I'm so imperative, and I say this every single time I do one of these presentations, every single time, listen to me. 
we want people here at Theotrade that want to be here. We want people that want to learn this. We don't ever want to take anybody's money that is not okay, like wonderfully satisfied. It's super important to us. If I'm a 6,000, we're just under that. We're just under 6,000 individuals, okay? And, and again, it's imperative to me. You're going to be here. Like we're not locking you in any contract. This is not like a gym membership. It's $7.99. And after a year, you don't have to do anything. If you don't want to after a year, that's fine. But you get access to the full Monty everything. Okay. You get access to everything that we do here, you know, on Theo trade for 799 bucks. And if you want to continue to do it the year after that, it's 799. That's completely up to you. And again, for this first 90 days, there is a no stipulations money back guarantee. And we're giving that to the first 30 people that enroll. The other thing that I'm so adamant about, email us. Okay. Email us. We give you unlimited email mentoring. Do you think it's worth 800 bucks? And I'm serious about that. You think it's worth 800 bucks? If you just email this a couple times throughout the course of the year. I'm going to tell you right now, there are people in the last 10 minutes here, okay, that are listening right now. There's people in the last 10 minutes. You've taken more than $800 of risk in the last 10 minutes, right? Okay. Now you've got somebody you can actually ask questions to. It's unlimited email mentoring. It's myself. It's Brandon Chapman. It's Blake Young. Okay. It's Jeff Bierman. I don't care if you have a question about charts, technicals, what we think of a particular stock, what the liquidity is, ask the question. You're in a bad position, you have somebody to ask to. Because you can't turn to Charles Schwab anymore because they're not even going to pick up the phone. You can't turn to any brokerage firms because they can't answer actual questions. Okay, You're on your own right now, but you're not anymore. Email us. The other thing that you can do, any given day, any given day, people just hop in our chat room. Hop in the chat room. Okay. If you have a specific question right now, ask. Okay. Oh, here. This is Jeff Bierman. Jeff Bierman is live right now. Just lay it out there. Um, we will cover it. I've got uh, at least four different indicators to go through. I mean, so Jeff Bierman is live literally right now. Okay. He's a professor of finance at Loyola. You can pay $42,000 a year. Actually, here, one guy says, Professor, your opinion on ANF. He's going to actually cover that. ANF is uh, Emicromian and Fitch. Um, He's a professor of finance. You pay $42,000 a year to go see him down at Loyola, okay? Or you can get him here at Theotrade for $7.99, right? And literally is a professor of finance over there uh, and kind of moonlights. And he has. I've known Jeff Bierman since, you know, since I've been involved in this business. He was early think or swim as well, right? So get into Theotrade now. Again, I want to reiterate because there's a couple of people asking again. It's theotrade.com forward slash BF799. Okay. It's a little bit weird, but we had to put that code in there. BF, that's B is in what? Boy. Okay. F is in Frank. Okay. 799. So theotrade.com forward slash 799. And uh, on, uh, on this particular page, you just simply click add to cart. It'll immediately load 799. Okay. And uh, you can pay with credit card, you know, single payment. All right. Form payments, whatever, whatever does it for you. Okay. Make sure to include your phone number on there. Text messaging comes from a 602 number or in Canada, a 6, 7, uh, 647 number. Again, theotrade.com forward slash BF799. All right. Judd, I've been a subscriber for four years. This is the only organization that has actually taught me how to consistently make money in the markets. A couple of questions answered. I'm going to answer some generalized questions. By the way, Mark was saying, are there daily coaching, in, uh, coaching sessions included? That's exactly what Jeff Bierman is doing right now. Jeff Bierman kind of runs the coaching side of things, meaning that new cutting edge education. Okay, Bierman is uh, often on the forefront of uh, of some of that education. Um, and actually, Jeff Bierman today, if you're kind of curious, I'll actually give you his exact topic. So uh, bear with me for a second. I'll tell you exactly what Jeff is doing today. Um, leading broad based index uh, clues part two. It's actually about breath indicators. So he's actually going to cover something about breath indicators. Bierman's actually really, really versatile. Can talk about everything from like financial modeling. Again, he doesn't just teach like finance 101. He actually teaches graduate students. Uh, he's also on the uh, on the faculty over at DePaul and uh, does actually work with DePaul as well. So he kind of moonlights with us here. But Jeff does at minimum one hour a day here on Theotrade. And uh, we try to get him in wherever we can. 
you know, uh, here and there in between classes and so forth. So those, everything's pretty much included on Theotra. And I say almost everything. Look, once in a blue moon, we'll even do a live event. That's the only thing that's not included. Once in a blue moon, we'll do like a live event. People always ask that question. So I don't mind telling you, okay? Look, let's, let's answer a couple of generalized questions and then I'll get into uh, specific, okay? So Mark was saying, okay, should work with my Fidelity account. Mark, I'm going to be honest with you, okay? And <clears throat> we're going to talk about, you know, we can help you get approved or the options. The honest truth is you don't want to do this with Fidelity. They don't know what they're doing in the option side of it. And I don't mean to, you know, disparage Fidelity at all. They're phenomenal. If you want to be in like money markets and, you know, different, you know, FIDO funds. Look, I have friends in this business. The individuals that built Thinkorswim now run Robinhood, E-Trade, okay? Tasty Trade, Charles Schwab, okay? These people run all the major brokerage firms. Like one of my closest friends, you know, he runs Robinhood. Another really good friend. She actually runs E-Trade, big portion of E-Trade, okay? We know these brokerages backwards and forwards. We're going to tell you, okay, who really does take care of you and who doesn't. And I'm going to tell you right now, right? Here you go. You got Thinkorswim and you got Tasty. <clears throat> I'm not saying this is the only two, but those are the ones that actually, you know, do what they should do as brokerage firms out there. People always ask this question as well. Um, <clears throat> the, uh, <clears throat> by the way, I want to do a, I'm going to read off a couple of names in here. Um, <clears throat> as I was saying a moment ago, there are 30 riskless spots available. Okay. We have uh, a bunch of names that just came in. It takes me about five to seven minutes before I see your name populate in here. So bear with me. Uh, I'm reading off the first name. Okay. And last initial. Okay. Of individuals. You've enrolled. We see you enrolling. I'm just confirming that you see you enrolled. Uh, David W. from Colorado. John T. from Illinois. Harold J. from Illinois. Wayne R. from Texas. Travis L. from Colorado. Don K. from Illinois. Good initials there. I'm a Don K. Rodney W. from Tennessee. Lowell H. from Texas. Richard S. from California and Jim P from South Carolina. So they could just read off about uh, 12 names there. And I can already see a bunch more coming through. So we've still got a ways to go, obviously, to fill the, uh, the 30 riskless trade spots. And again, we do that to incentivize people. But at the same time, there's a money back guarantee on it. Okay. So, uh, oh, Lance. So uh, sorry, Lance is like, I just signed up again. You know, what's funny about like Theo trade. Somebody could sign up like from like, you know, three, four years ago, okay? And then they'll like go around, they'll look around, they're like, there's nothing else out there, okay? Nobody ever leaves Theo Trade. There's just, there is something for everyone here. And maybe it isn't necessarily premium selling, but this is what, you know, people want to do right now to generate consistency without having to panic about market direction. And that's, that's so critical. So a couple of like brief, just generalized questions. What do you need to get started? Laptop internet connection. Frankly, you don't even need a laptop anymore. Mobile devices are good enough. I didn't say that like three to four years ago, but the mobile applications, like I'm serious about this, Tasty Trade and Thinkorswim's mobile application are sick now. Like the mobile application for Tasty Trade, specifically their iPad and Android, like um, their tablet application is out of this world. I think it's actually the best one in the industry. I love the iPad application for Tasty Trade. So, and by the way, you don't have to have like the thousand dollar iPad. I use the two ninety nine Walmart special. Okay, um, it's a. By the way, Lance, I appreciate that. No, nobody else saw that, Lance, but it's a. This is the best. <laughs> I think I actually remember your name, Lance, because I think we went back and forth in a couple of emails over here. Anyway. We have everything you need to get started. And that's important. Like I try to make that, you know, all the time, like known when I say we have everything you need to get started. If there's something that you need, email us. Okay. This is not a membership. We don't do membership anymore. You just sign up for $7.99. We don't auto renew. We do not auto renew. Okay. Um, we're now providing you Theo Theta weekly videos. So what's a Theo Theta weekly video? It's that 12 minute video that we do every Friday. I think I'm going to do it this Friday. It's a weird week. It's like three and a half week, three and a half day week. I think I'll do it this Friday. I'll just do a, a condensed down video this week. Okay. 
um, we provide you access to Theotrade Mobile. Theotrade Mobile, okay, it's so weird on the green screen here. Theotrade Mobile, okay, works on Android okay, or iPhone. And people get very, very nervous, right? Look, I am an Apple geek, but I don't trade on Mac, okay? I don't use iOS, like I use iOS mobile, okay? I have the, the, the watch. The watch is the coolest thing ever because it taps you on the wrist every time you get a fill or like an alert. I freaking love it. Okay. If you could buy a watch, by the way, they have the watches now for like 200 bucks. It's incredible. I'm not trying to sell like an Apple product, but it's incredible because it taps you on the wrist. But I like my, uh, my iOS devices, but again, I use a PC to trade on. Okay. I'm a windows boy. All right. Admitting is the first step. Oh, it feels better now. Anyway. Um, we give you the weekly update videos. We give you access to Theotrade Mobile. We do push notifications. If you don't get a text message, the cool thing is I actually have push notifications and text messaging on here. So when we send out a message, it comes text, it comes push notification. Like your phone is basically jumping off, like, you know, lighting up. Don't freak out to like pull off the highway or something. <laughs> you don't have to do that. Okay. If you have autopilot, you just click on it and just like, okay, I'm going to trade. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Like, don't panic. These trades are not fast. All right. Number five, add your cell phone number when enrolling to receive the alerts, okay? The text messages. You can always add it later, but I always say that, right? Number six, you can email us anytime, receive a response within 24 hours. This is, this is one thing. Look, most of the time we respond like that. Most of the time we respond instantly, okay? But the truth be told, some people will email us like on a Friday afternoon with five minutes to go to the close. They're like, help! Please give us some time. We trade, right? And it's important, okay? It's important. By the way, there's a couple more names before I answer a few more of these, a few more names. Brian J. from Michigan. Ooh, I'm curious. We're in Michigan, okay? Wife is from Michigan. So uh, yeah, you University of Michigan fan or uh, Michigan State? This is a very important question. Okay. Detroit's good for the first time in many, many years. It's very unusual. Marvin M from Pennsylvania, Robert S from Illinois, Duke C from California. Okay. And Lance C from Michigan. Okay. Oh, Lance, that's where I've talked to you. Uh, Paul D from Virginia, Mark R from Florida. Okay. Uh, Raymond E from Texas. Raymond, I literally just saw your name pop up in here. As I said, it uh, takes a minute over there. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, Armin, you can always, uh, email us on that, uh, on that particular front or Armin, if you've, uh, if you've got that one, you can actually pop in here and you can ask questions, uh, right in here as well. Okay. Stacy is there to help. So you can actually chat in on that one. Okay. All right. Onward and upward over here. So, uh, uh, variations of the trades that we've done can be done inside of an IRA account. I actually do most of the time trade. I trade the small portfolio. It's called Theo Theta Small. I trade the three Theo Theta Small in my IRA account. Um, and you can do that uh, with the IRA. Okay. You can do that again. And you can even like sell out of the money premium. Most firms don't let you, but there are several brokerage firms now that again, we can help you get approved but options trading at several major brokerage firms. And what's so cool now is the uh, brokerage firms, they really, really work with us. Remember, there's 30 riskless spots available, okay? So uh, again, we have, oh, probably about, looks like about 23 of the spots filled right now. There's about seven spots remaining right now. And again, I'm just doing the count right off the top of my head here as I, uh, as I read through this. All right, uh, I want to make sure that uh, that I answer everybody's question in here. I got most of them. Uh, again, it's theotrade.com forward slash BFF, uh, BF, okay, BF799. I knew I'd say that, okay, okay. Best friends forever, um, okay. Oh, I just want to read this comment. I've been a member. This actually comes from Ben, okay. I've been a member on and off since Don started Theotrade, okay. I'll leave for a while and realize Okay. There is nothing else out there like it. Uh, Theo trade plan to get involved in Ultima this time. Thanks. Uh, thank you, Ben. And uh, no, thanks. Thanks for, uh, for that one. Cause uh, I totally appreciate it. Um, fantastic. Cause I, I try to tell people like if there's something you need in this business. Let us know. 
and we try to provide it to you. I mean, that's it's that's why there's almost 6,000 people here. And uh, again, we don't do a Black Friday sale like this for the general public. I figured we'd put it together last minute, but uh, theotrade.com forward slash okay, BF799. I will uh, throw this page back up there. If there's any remaining questions over here, okay, oh, it's a beautiful day there. Um, uh, let me see if I get this name. There's one more name that just came through. Uh, Fasal N from Delaware. I hope I didn't butcher your name. If there's anything you guys need, uh, we're going to be here for a few minutes. Again, theotrade.com uh, forward slash BF799. And uh, thanks everybody for joining us today. Okay, uh, fantastic. I, uh, I appreciate it and uh, have a wonderful afternoon. Email us if you need anything. Okay, we're here. We're actually in the chat room live right now to answer some questions. Have a great afternoon, everybody. Bye-bye.